Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And as I'm recording this, it's early in the morning on Thanksgiving Day. Which shows you how long it takes me to get these things edited and uploaded. But, that's neither here nor there. The whole idea is, the things I'm thankful for today, among among many, many wonderful things, are, of course, my fleet of cars. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go through a little bit of a garage tour here. And, again, I have no idea when this is going to go up. If it goes up when it's normally scheduled, it'll be probably sometime in July. And that's if I don't still have problems rendering. So, we'll see whenever this goes up. It's just a little bit of a, a sentimental historical video that I'm putting up. And if you're into that kind of thing, well, very cool. So, let's, let's start taking a look around here. You've got, the again, the, the original car that you could win off the prize ride there, the, the Remus. I got that. I think I did put a little spoiler on it, just so it's raceable. The killer calico. You have to have a calico if you're doing street races of any nature, because you know the the way the the courses are designed, it really does benefit just large amounts of acceleration, and it's 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 enough so that you know slamming your brakes on because you can't make any turns isn't that bad a thing. So this this works out pretty well. Then you got another prize ride car, you know, ZR350, which I did add the louvers too in a spoiler just so that they can get the performance. And the bulletproof, this makes it the, you know, bulletproof from the back. So, at least that's my understanding. Then we've got the uh, the University of Scranton Previa in the purple and white. It's, a, it's not a bad car to drive. I don't know that I like driving it as much as I like driving the Zion, but it is definitely quicker. So, it's, it's, it's a car to have. No question about it. And of course, you know, you got to have a gold Mustang here. You got the the Dominator ASP, best uh, best uh, car in the game. As far as muscle cars are concerned, it's got the top uh, the top numbers. So nice car to drive too. I like it. We zip over here, and here's my Tailgater S, which I have left somewhat plain. It's fully modded, max performance, but you know, it looks like you've. Uh, Taking Dad's car out to the races, which I'm perfectly copacetic with. You know, it's still, still a good date car if you're going you know, to go try and impress a woman. Good, good, uh, good kind of thing here. Got my Sultan RS Classic, which you know is is a high performance car, but it is twitchy. And you know, it's the, the sort of thing where I don't know. It's a, it's a twitchy thing. Should we really, you know, pick this over the Calico? Sometimes I do. It is good, but we'll just every once in a while it'll just hit a bump just the right way and go yeah. Jester RR. Jester as well. It's, I think it's a really. I like the look of this car. I just I, I enjoy driving this one. It is nice to drive, not as fast as some of them, but it's you know it's it's usable, usable for a bold choice kind of set of races. But I, mean, I don't. I tell you what, I don't generally do the street races anymore. But yeah, we could we could take this out somewhere along the line onto a. A stunt track and see how it does. Vector RR. Nice grippy car. Enjoyable car to drive. This is another prize ride car. And it's now officially, you know, fully performance modded, slammed, and all that kind of stuff. Left the paint as it was. Now, this is our most recent purchase because this was the last parking space I had. I have no parking spaces available at all. The, the one thing I did do... I have one parking space. Okay, one thing I did do in the last video was I... I, I changed over my my uh, my MOC to uh, instead of having a workshop, it has a, it had a parking space. So I made an emergency parking space. I put the Stromberg in it because you know Spy Hunter rolling out the back of a truck. So I, I am going to move this over to uh, the nightclub spot where uh, the Stromberg had been parked previously, but not before modifying it. Let's get in here and let's do some modifications. So the inspiration behind this uh, this build is going to be a matchbox that I picked up of this exact car or something darn close that I thought had a nice paint job on it. So we're, we're going to go from here as far as that's concerned. And in retrospect, I'm not sure if that last sentence made any sense, but it is early in the morning on, a, on, a, on Thanksgiving, on a Thursday. So, the car that I purchased here, the uh, 
the Hot Wheels car, is a 2018 Bentley Continental GT3. This is going to be pretty well raced up. And a different build than what I normally do. Bigger wing, bigger splitters, that kind of thing. So let's ponder the front bumper. Let's see. The car here doesn't have the canards. It does have a little bit more. Yeah, there's not that much detail to it. There's a little more just black plastic out front. But if I said carbon race bumper, that was probably as close as I could get. <clears throat> Again, still early morning voice. So, carbon race bumper up front. This one has some nice splitters on the back, and this one I'm not going to be able to pull that off with this. So we're just going to have to go with a carbon rear bumper just to ma match the black plastic. That's, that's too bad. Engine, rev it up. Exhaust, let's see, where is... It's exhaust, looks like it must have been coming out of the splitters. Oh no, does that side pipes? Oh, this one has side pipes. Can we do side pipes? No. Well, Hot Wheels is making a better car than I can make. No, we'll make it race exhaust. Let's see, the grill... Again, I can't seem to match the same grill here. Now, an exposed intercooler, that, and those, those kind of things are great for um, great for if you're not getting lots of rocks and like something that hits your intercooler won't you know knock you out of the race. So we're gonna leave the grill stock. The hood, we need something vented here. Surely they have not carbon. That's not quite it either. Oh, we're gonna have to be happy with not quite it either. Lights, uh, you have to throw a neon kit on it just to lower the uh, center of gravity. We'll leave it white. Livery, okay. Now this was where I think we can match the matchbox pretty closely. That there, the seven crown, that's, that's pretty close. Now which one's closer? Honestly, the number seven, I think, is closer. I mean, we're talking just white stripes. And it, there's a lot of, there's a lot of nice li liveries here. Hashtag hype train. That's funny. Abstract tag. I remember the hashtag hype train on the other car. It, just, it didn't go down far enough. This has this isn't exactly the, the the right thing, but it's it's very close as far as the swoop going through the uh, through the square number on the thing. And the, you know the car I have is number one hundred, but you can't pick your own numbers. How does the uh, the top look? Let's consider. There's nothing exactly like the top paint scheme is on the car. That's pretty close. Let's go with that. Works racer. So we have to go down to respray primary color metallic. We're gonna match the, the primary and the secondaries here. Obviously racing green. Let's see, does that seem dark enough or is dark green a better match? Dark green's actually a better match on this. That's almost a perfect match, so we're going to go with that. But just for fun, we're going to give it a racing green pearlescent. So it has a little bit of punch to it. Secondary color, we're obviously going to go uh, metallic. Up from the bottom this time to the dark green. So it matches. And we're starting to get there. We're starting to get to what we're looking for. Trim color. Now, this is, I've got some, you know, you look at a match, it's just black. So I guess I could just keep the, keep the graphite as it was. 
So we're matching the car. Roll cage. I don't know. Is this car? It should have a roll cage. There you go. Oh, that wasn't the car that fell. That was my phone. Uh, it's hard to tell from the matchbox. So let's do cage and race seat. Let's see. The race seats have... I understand the race seats. Race seats don't seem like they have enough neck support. You know, I like the cage and the sports seats because, you know, that's... At least you, there's a little bit more neck support. What's the highest seat? Cage and carbon seats. The carbon seats look really uncomfortable. Drag seats. The race seats look too small. Yeah, let's go with sports seats. They got nice green, you know, seat belts anyway. The roof, okay. Um, this one has a mine has a smooth roof. Yeah, it's just nothing really you could do there with that. Skirts. Uh, this one, this one actually has the side exhaust on it, but I think carbon will go we'll carbon with everything else, as far as that's concerned. Spoiler. Now this is where I, it's gonna it's gonna deviate from what I normally do. Race wing. Let's see. I don't know. Does that? Does that capture it? Not exactly. Normally where you have 75 different wings available, you know, there's there's better options. Yeah, again, Hot Wheels is kind of one here. There's just a better wing on it. What will be the... I guess we'll put the race wing on just to put the, you know, make it a race wing. The Enduro wing looks annoying. We'll just put a race wing on it. It's it's not too bad because it's not outside the fenders. That's what I usually put. And the sun strips, uh, this one doesn't have a sun strip, but I don't like sun strips anyway because it, if you get stuck in a first person, so every once in a while, some will, you won't notice that we'll have locked it to first person. Slam the suspension because it's a race car. Race transmission, turbo, obviously. Wheels. These have a, a little bit more texture to them. Track. Would that be? Not really. The Dinka SVL seem like they match. The Ice Storm might be a closer about the Dinka SBL. Yeah, Dinky SBL. I think those are the ones we're gonna go with, unless there's something even better. I mean some of these are better as far as, far as matching stuff up. Dinka SBL. Real color, black. Maybe you can do carbon black so it matches the carbon. Do you see more even on the car? They even seem more black than other black plastic. So let's go black. Tires, tire enhancements, bulletproof. Well, that deviates from you know what you can actually do with a matchbox. But is it worth it? Let's leave them stock for right now. We can always put and swap new tires on. Tire smoke will leave white. Windows. This actually does look like it has a light smoke on it. So we'll go with our standard light smoke. And there you have it. So let's change the view here. So we can take a nice look at it. The lighting is good in this, uh, in this room. Oh, you know the one thing we should do? I haven't been doing this very much. The plate. Let's throw a Black Knight plate on this. I 
It was 4-4 four, four, keg. I mean, keg, I guess. is If I was a beer drinker, I'd leave that in there, but stupid arrhythmia. All right. Black Knight. And yellow on black. And now let's peel out. And let's see. Where are we putting this? Up here. Up in that garage. I know, I should know the best route out back to there by now, but I don't. And again, it's early in the morning on a Thursday. Cut me some slag. Hey, we unlocked some clothes. I don't even tell you what anymore. There's just more stuff. I mean, there's lots of stuff. We've just unlocked lots of stuff. I'm going to wear the same sort of a Hawaiian issue shirt that I always got. We need more Hawaiian shirts in games. We just do. There you go. I could have found my way back. Almost certainly. And, you know, is he dead? Yes, yeah, okay. That's fine then. So tired, you know, Rockstar, you gotta change the traffic. This is just stupid. It's stupid. Totally stupid. And I think it's in two. Yeah, it would have told me that it was full otherwise. And there you have it. It's kind of a good garage to go to. Number two. This is my British kind of spy, sort of, yeah, I'll spy kind of stuff garage. Not all British, but in some. Now let's go over some of that. I know if you've watched previously, you've seen most of this before. The the Paragon R here is taking the place of the Stromberg, which we'll, we'll show off a little bit later, which is now parked in my MOC. You got... You know, my, uh, my my Rapid GT Classic, which is done up like the one from... Oh, what the hell Bond movie was it? It was the one where he's, it's, it's got skis and stuff on it. I forget, but it's a Bond car. Uh, here we've got the, the uh, Miami Vice Testarossa. These two cars, of course, we've got the, uh, the Austin Powers American Flag Corvette and... This would have been a Jaguar E-Type, but this is closer to a D-Type. But still, Austin Powers, it's a swinger. And you, by the way, you can't put swinger on the uh, the plate. That's apparently verboten. You're, you're not allowed to put, ooh, swinger on this, because that might be considered sexy. In a game where you could pick up prostitutes with this car, I believe. So, uh, I have not tried it with this car. Some cars you can, some cars you can't. But I'm fairly certain you can get a prostitute in this car, but you can't put swinger on the plate. This is an homage to my, my friend Ed's Porsche, so Black Beauty, as we call her. And uh, it's one of those things where he's very modest about it and doesn't even like to mention that he owns, like, you know, uh, a, a Porsche with a special aero, you know, factory aero package on it. It's really nice. So I have, this is my Porsche. What's it? This is the, this is the fast one, the Comet SR. Okay. And, of course, we have the Hateful Machine. Uh, this is an F620 that I've tried to make look just like the one that uh, Bruffy1322 used to test the F620 in his test video all those years ago. So I know he didn't keep it. So I can imagine I bought it off the secondary market after testing. So this is, in my mind, the actual car used to, to set the time. So that's here. Either that or alternately, Bruffy's at the club and he kept the car. and He secretly loves the F620 and that's, that's all just been a game. He really, really does love this car. It's all just for the memes. Okay, and then it looks like we have twins here. But uh, what we have is a JV700 uh, and a JV700W. Now, this is the weaponized one, but you notice it doesn't have guns. And no, those don't pop out. Why don't we don't have pop-out guns on this? It's, it's 2021. We should be able to do that, Rockstar. I don't care what you say about the code. It should be able to go click-click, click-click, in and out. This one has the fake guns because uh, it's the movie car. And this one... Has uh, you can add guns to it to make it look exactly like this, and then they'll shoot. But I thought I was cooler looking at it. Like, hey, the secret hidden guns, just like the, the actual Bond car would have. Uh, this one does drop oil slick mines, though, so it does have something going for it. You can see it does have the slot for the uh, 
the bulletproof shield that doesn't come up. I think they both have that. Yeah, they both have a little, a little, little etch in there where you can make it think that. Well, actually, it's a little different. I mean, it's just the paint scheme, but the uh, the seams are more pronounced on the uh, the W. Never noticed that before. So anyway, both a real bond and a fake bond are here at the club, and uh, now we can. Oh, here we can't forget. You know the James May mobile. You know this is. This is a shame, really. I mean, the Ardent should be a, something that we can just drive in races. It is a wonderful car. For some reason, they put guns on it, and now you can't drive it. It's it's supposed to be a Bond car. I have it painted to... I could have done this as a, a James Bond paint job. I, I decided to make it like the one James May used in the Argentinian episode of Top Gear, where a, a massive mob of people tried to kill them. And they probably could have used the machine guns. That would have, you know, at least gotten them through some of that and probably, you know, caused an international incident. But, I mean, hey, you know, it's a mob of people trying to kill you. What are you going to do? They just were able to luckily be spirited out of the country and then the cars were left there. So that's, that's a thing. So let us continue with the garage tour. We're doing it a little bit out of order. Let's just go into the nightclub. And, of course, we, we're starting with the... Uh, well, not starting. We've already started. But here's the Patriot stretch, which I've done in the colors of the nightclub. And we can... In, with, with dollars, because the nightclub is all about the money. And as you can see, where am I going with that? Well, you got your gold. You got your purple. Your purple and gold. And it's gold and it's purple. And it's all very wealthy. And let's open the safe over here. Grab the safe. And I will head downstairs. Okay, here we are in basement level one. With the Chrome Crew, uh... Blue and red. The, um... The, what you call it? The beta fish kind of... Not beta fish. The, the neon tetra kind of paint job that I have on a few of my cars. It was a phase. With the winter camo. I like the winter camo. It sets off the paint jobs rather nicely on these. If I do in camo, I'm generally doing winter. Of course, I live in Pennsylvania, so that would kind of make sense. Did he do? We've already done level two. Let's go to level three. Here's our kind of classic old style car kind of thing. We have the Joker Mobile, which is a Roosevelt Valor. It's very Jokery. I actually did the uh, the Joker plate. Hopefully, Mark Hamill would approve. And if not, well, we'll, we'll live. It, it's okay. And now what I did here was I, from my mom, but I decided to make it exactly like the one that you get, or as close as I could make it, to, to the one you get when you do the business battle and it falls out of the truck. So I always thought, well, why wouldn't you just keep the car? So I did. That's, that's made that up. So it's like I just kept the car. Now you got a Hermes here. This is an obvious homage to a GTA Vice City, to the, the Hermes that you get in that game. That's why I went with the simplified wheels. It's really, yeah, it's, it's, it's a GTA Vice City thing. Which is funny, because this, that means this character has the Hermes, and the other one has the Voodoo, so you get both sides of the, the whole thing there. For another Frankenstein. I think I have one Frankenstein here, and one in the, uh, you know, one in the, uh, the, the, uh, the other office with the, the holiday cars. This is just, you know, the classic flat black with flames. Gotta love it. We should change the interior color. I mean, you know, the, the purple velvet's nice, but it would be nice if you could make this like a black velvet for this or a blue velvet for something else. You know, something. But this is from the days from before we did that. As you can see, it's got a... Uh, it's, got, it's got a bobblehead. Bobbly bobbly.
And you got a hustler, two hustlers. One, I just love this, you know, purple on dark green paint job. You see it a lot. With, I think, yeah, with, with some, I think that's pea green as far as the wheels or some kind of green. So that's, that's my flame job hustler. And this one, this hustler is supposed to be like as close as I can make it. And it's not very close as to the one driven and I got to get paid. That's just as, it's as close as I can make it. It's not very close. And I might be able to do a little bit better job with the wheels on it now. Because there's some more wheel options. And so we might, uh, we might be able to fool with that at some point. But for right now, this is where it is. This is my original uh, hot knife, which I, I've painted this several different colors. You know, it's like, it should be something I should be able to do in Eliminator homage, but because of the set primary and secondary, it just doesn't work. And so I put it in the livery of the the uh, the nightclub here, just so that it's it's in the same paint scheme as the, the, the Patriot stretch up, up, up top. You can imagine being a promotional car that you take out, but you park out front somewhere along the line. We should do that one of these days. Just have a, a promotional thing. Hey, you're hanging out in the nightclub and try and get people to show up. That'd be cool. Here we've got my peyote uh, gasser. Which I think I, I had originally, I think, two peyotes. And I just I sold one and then bought this like it had been upgraded. So my, this is the end result of my original pink peyote gasser. It's very pink. A beaker's garage in parts. Super, that double supercharge? That looks like it's... That's a really long supercharger. It's a big one. Okay, well, it's, it's supercharged. This is my original peyote. I think it's a peyote custom at this point. I think this that's a peyote, and this is a custom. Because the peyote custom is a little bit nicer and a little bit faster. No, it's just a regular peyote. I didn't, I didn't slam it. This is just my original peyote. Huh. Done up in kind of a classic gray with the, the turbo fin tires here. And then you'll notice, gee, this, uh, this Tornado has almost exactly the same look. I think I came about that kind of accidentally, just making them. But I do like it. You gotta like, you know, and this, these are very... You know, original mindset Black Knight kind of things to have. I'm the Black Knight. Drive dark. Okay, you know, it's, I've gotten obviously gotten away from that. But all right, so that's that's this that's this garage. The booga booga booga. Let's head to f level four. This is a little bit more of a mix. A mix of cool stuff. Alright, you got the 4th of July special. This is, this started out as just a big heavy car kind of thing, but it ended up being more of a mix. Um, I actually have a, a background. My background on my, on my Windows account stuff. My Black Knight Windows account where I can access all the, the right social media and whatnot. This is the background on it because it is such a good looking car. I do love this Chino. I will drive it on other days other than the uh, the 4th of July. It's a cool thing. Here's my original Voodoo. This for a while was like a Steelers themed car. And then like they started to piss me off with some of the things that were going on. So I just changed it up. I was going to just make it a, a plain brown Voodoo with that plain tan. But then, the, the, you know, this you know overall paint scheme just kind of called to me. It seems to work. And then the... Able to match the wheels up rather nice, so I'm happy with this. This this Voodoo. It's it's a it's a good car. Now this 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 you know this Eclipse here, this Penumbra. I actually saw this car on a trip to uh, North Carolina. We were halfway down and we're at the ho you know we're at a hotel or something like that. Or was this halfway to Florida? I don't remember. It was on one of the trips. This was in the parking lot. Almost exactly as you see it here. And uh, someone had an eclipse done up this way. And so I said, hey, the tangerine dream here is... We gotta put this in the garage. So it's, it's there. It's a memory. Okay, photos. I have lots of photos. I like to keep photos. Here is the 
nightclub fudo as you can see down in the nightclub livery again another car you could park out front and try and get people to show up never notice it's, it only does when you when you add the custom seat it only does one that's such a fudo thing similarly the nightclub patriot which matches the Patriot stretch. Gotta love a Patriot. The Patriot was, interestingly enough, one of the, the first cars I really wanted to get in this game, and I don't know why. I mean, it's not that great an off-roader, really, as far as, you know, it's very slow and blah, blah, blah. But there was just something about wanting to get one of those. I guess that kind of matches real life, doesn't it? I mean, it's like... They're not necessarily great, great cars, but there's something about them, and people like them. Including me. Not going to ever buy one, because, my goodness, there's just too many downsides. But, you know, I guess you'd never say never. Like, what if I got a really good deal on one? I don't know. I'll we'll have to... Not looking for one right now. Now, I have a couple of these. Like this, the Revolter and the Night Shark, they were both free. One day, I think I ended up getting like multiples of these because they're free, and then it's like, well, they're free, you can just get rid of them, but you can't replace them easily. Uh, this one was done up for St. Patrick's Day. This is my St. Patrick's Day special now, and uh, or at least it's another one because I wanted to do some some racing for the holiday. I like to do that. I'm gonna end up with more and more cars like that because that's kind of my go-to for holidays. Although it is Thanksgiving, and I don't have a Thanksgiving race because. Eh, how do you do a turkey car? It's just really not a thing. Not going to be getting any videos out today on that. I have a bunch of stuff coming out for Black Friday, but by this time, by the time you see this, that'll be well past. I don't know how long, how much longer I'm going to be doing like a holiday special kind of thing because it's busy for the holidays. And, you know, I'm getting more and more to where I don't know how often I'm going to be making videos. I'll be doing, I've got so many things going on right now. So we'll have to see how uh, how well the the videos. I, I think I can keep it all going. I can keep the, the flow going. I've got videos. Like I'm recording this on Thanksgiving. I've got videos, you know, GTA videos out to July, already loaded. I mean, they're they're scheduled. So I mean, in between here and there, I should be able to play some video games. I hope. Hope hope I get, This is still what I like to do. This is this is my hobby. And so we'll we'll see if. Uh, if I can continue to maintain my hobby as well. If not, if there's a if there's a delay at some point, I'm just busy and not getting to hobby very much. Night Shark, this is the Lemonade Lemonade Night Shark. I do still have the uh, the outfit to go with that. The Lemonade Man. This was supposed to be you see it really turns slightly yellow. Um, yeah. This was going to be my psychotic alter ego when I was going to do anything really kind of psychotic. Which, nothing wrong with being the lemonade man. Have some lemonade. It's just It matches the face, you know? You gotta go with that. Well, that's this was my lemonade easy target night shark. I, I'm not... I'm not completely married to this paint scheme. We can, we can mess with it. I think I kept it because at the time I couldn't get lime green. And this came as a lime green kind of thing. I just mashed it up with some yellow and left the lime. You know, so that's that was where that came from. Now this is, of course, my bumblebee Issy Sport. I'm gonna I'm gonna eventually pull that that sunliner down there, the the sun strip, because it does blind you a bit when you get locked into first person. So be nice if that was a little transparent from the one side, Rockstar. But we can we can work with it. This is a great car. This is your go-to car for anything with dirt in it. It's just so grippy. It's a really, it's a generally good, you know, general purpose sports car. It doesn't have a top end. So, you know, if, you, if you're doing something with a lot of stunt races and stuff, it can be problematic because you're not going to keep up with a GTO with it. But, I mean, if it's something with a lot of curves, it'll eat up everything else. It's, it's so grippy. It's just nice. It's a nice car. I love this car. And I have it done up like an actual uh, Bumblebee figure from, I forget, 2006 or something like that. You know, put a picture in here. I know I have taken pictures. I've done, oh, I did the build-up on this car. I had pictures of it. But we'll, uh, 
we'll put that in here if we can if, if I remember while I'm editing if, if you don't see that here that means I edited this much later on and then for completely didn't listen to it and forgot what I was doing so that's you know that, that could happen with I was gonna do stuff with that matchbox too and that's a a thing oh, someone's texted me hold on a second oh just beeped for no damn reason okay well that's that's fine now you might say why keep a full essay you can grab, grab them off the road no big deal but this one, uh, this one was, uh, it was, is a homage to a car that my uncle Butch had, God arrest him. He actually had pretty much this exact crossfire. And, uh, you know, which is essentially just a, a rebadged Mercedes with a different, more cool looking body. And so I keep this in his memory. It's just a, a nice thing to have. He'd be at the club, no question. Very playing. He's a musician and a mechanic. And... We miss him. But at any rate, we have that other homage car. And then we're going to move right on to one of my main racers. The Devastate. I think I had the pink stripes on it for a little while. And then I ran to another one painted exactly the same with the pink stripes. And the guy was just an absolute douche. Just ramming everybody off the road. Like, I, I don't want to be mistaken. We're going to just... We're going to go back to the clean black lines of... Uh, the Devesse. This is a good car. In case you're wondering, I am looking at trying to review here what's going to go because I'm out of parking space. I got one emergency parking space. And, you know, that's uh, that's in the auto shop. So now it's like, okay, well, what am I going to go from here? And as you can see, everything I've shown you so far, not going. And it might be that I have just stuck until they, you know, Rockstar gives us more parking. Let's see, that's for, let's check out the terabyte. Which reminds me, I never did show the bunker in my other video on Rusty Jack. So maybe we'll switch over and show what I've got in the bunker. On that one. Here's the terabyte. As you can see, it's in the neon tetra red and crew over chrome blue. A must-have vehicle, it really is. There's going to come a time when these servers have grown cold that I'm going to miss having this massive fleet. And that's one of the reasons I make these videos. That's probably the main reason I make these videos. Let's uh, exit the warehouse here. What do we want to get? That's for my car. I just parked it. Let's go back into two and grab that. We'll, cru we'll cruise around in the Paragon R because it's new. And you know, let's let's not be the lemonade man. Let's go style. Back to summer, dude. All kinds of good cars here, but this one is pleasant. Let's see where to next? Where to next? Good brakes. A lot of cars would have crushed that guy. Let's check out the apartment one first before we start getting into the office. Kind of flying. And let's see here. This here's my original, original apartment. When I started out with, here's one of my original cars. The Entity XF, which I accidentally bought as the best car at the time to drive in and races. Not realizing it. I mean, I looked at, I looked at the specs on the website, which are completely bogus. And this one supposedly went 240 miles an hour. It does half that. But it will outhandle it, because I couldn't afford an adder, because I thought, well, I won't get the adder, but I can get this, and it should do well enough against an adder. And in the end result, like, on the tracks, it crushes the adder, because it can outhandle it so much, and I've won a lot of races with this car. Every once in a while, I'll still pull it out, and I can still win races every once in a while with this. It's a nice car. I, I love the Entity XF. We'll go back and get the, what the hell kind of lenses am I wearing here? Now here we got Wind Charger. This is this is the first car I ever grabbed off the street. This is the Phoenix that I the first car I ever had, and I've had this as you know a black and gold uh, 
you know, smoky and the bandit kind of thing, but the gold just doesn't pop on it. No matter what you do, it just didn't look didn't look right. I did it chrome and black for a while, and then I finally realized, hey, you know, it make a good wind charger clone. And so there it is. And this is kind of the paint job I'm happy with, and I'm gonna, how I'm going to keep it from now on. My original Phoenix. The Duke of Deaths are always something where I say, well, if I really need room, I could get rid of my Duke of Deaths. But, I mean, because you can always get them back for free, and then plus the upgrades. Not that big a deal. And there was a time, you know, back before a lot of these vehicles came out where the Duke of Death was really kind of a powerful thing, and that it was really hard to shoot you in. And, uh, you know, if you if you had somebody griefing, you had to get out. You could go, jump on your Duke of Death, run them over, and then take off. Um, it's not as pertinent now, because there's things like, you know, Deluxos and, and stuff like that. So I might end up, I might end up liquidating, you know, some of the Duke of Death stuff. I always hate to do it, but I do need room, and the truth be told, you know, we might do that today. We might do that now, before we even do the other thing, I and mean, before I lose my nerve. It is beautiful. It's a fast and furious looking thing here. I hate to look, to give it up. I mean, it's the kind of thing where I do need parking. I desperately need parking. And I can always get it back and chrome it up. It's not like it'd be hard to do. So that might be a thing. We might have to say goodbye to a Duke of Death today. Not getting rid of all of them, but I've got some that are more, more significant. Here we got the Mariachi Tornado, which is the rare Mar The only way you can get this is by grabbing it in a specific event. It is insured. I should get, I should try, I, I, I think you used to be able to not be able to paint this. I think you might be able to paint it now. Since they do it as a, uh, a Thelma and Louise homage when you have the two women in it and they're going to, you know, they're going to drive off a cliff and you have to basically shoot them and take their car before they drive off the cliff. It's really kind of warped. Um, Maybe I'll paint it more like a blue. This is the Mariachi Tornado as you get it. So that is that is a classic thing. Slogan GT. Love the Slogan GT. It sounds great. It moves great. Looks great. This would be a regular bold choice kind of, uh, kind of uh, car I'd take into a race. Just for the fun of it. You gotta love it. Speed! Tropos Rally, painted as close as I can to uh, a wheeljack kind of look to it. It is the better of the rally cars versus the Omnis, as far as lap time is concerned. Ruffy will never admit that because the Omnis is the, his favorite car, and I real understand that he kind of likes the way it. It's more sublime and a little trickier to drive. It, it is very smooth. I do I do enjoy driving my Amis, but I think this one, as he calls it, the boring car. Sometimes the boring car is faster, and I think uh, maybe for my lower skill levels, I do better with this one. Now, the roller car you never see going out is this. Here you got the, the Comet RS whatever. What the heck are they? How do they name this thing? Off-road, blah, blah. Fister Comet Safari. How could I forget? And this I had is a kind of a rusty paint job for a while, and I've just recently redone, redone this to be a winter special. So, somewhere along the line, when I'm doing Christmas stuff, if I do a Christmas racing video, I'll be doing all my sports races in this. Unless I have another one that'll be sporty. I have to think. What do we have for the supers on that? I'm still building the concept for that video. But I have this for the sports cars. I probably have another sports car that's in a, a similar livery somewhere along the line. I have cliques with the bow on them for, for muscle car races that never happen. But what about the supers? Well, we'll, as we go through this, we'll figure it out. Now here's my Omnis. This has been in, in a few different uh, Bruffy 1322 uh, races. It's, I've actually raced him in this and gotten completely obliterated. I used to have the big wing on the back, and I took the big wing off the back to maybe make it a little less tail happy. A little less weight on the rear end. You get the same downforce by not having it there, so figure that out. That's a rock star thing. I'm okay with it. I'm like the having handling without the uh, the big thing on the back. Looks good. And so I have raced this. I do race it. It is fun. I've I've beaten pariahs with this on the right track. 
uh, you know, Rally, I think, is the actual track I did on, but it's a, it's a, it's, it's a good car. I like the car. I think I do understand why Ruffy1322 loves it so much. I don't know. I'd have to really kind of back-to-back -back race them with the, the Tropos and see which one I go faster in. That, that'd be an interesting kind of test. Another old schooler. This is my, uh, my Custom Saver Turbo with the Tron kind of livery. You can tell how, you know, when Tron Legacy came out, I was inspired to do this up. And I'm really not too inspired to change it up. Every once in a while, I think I'm going to repaint it. But so far, that hasn't happened. So, I don't drive it as much anymore, though. Because, I mean, you do have stuff like the Dominator ASP. So, I mean, that crushes everything. So, this is mostly something I just love this car, and I'll keep it here. A lot of good memories. Same with this one. LG RH8. This has had a few different paint jobs. This was a Steelers uh, rendered one, too. Now it's got this kind of Jason the Wheeled Warriors kind of paint job going. And uh, I actually got a model car of this that's all white. So I might, might, uh, might change it up to match that. Although, I don't know. The, the Jason the Wheeled Warriors has more character to it. We'll, we'll see what goes on. Let's go across the street. And here we are in Office Garage 1. Let's pop into the first person. Shotaro must have. This has won me a good number of races. It just handles so well. There are tracks which the Hikachi Drag will outdo, and I'm the, even the Batty 801 because it doesn't have this, the, the top end that they do, but boy, if there's any curves whatsoever, you can usually make it up. And this is that number of paint jobs, too. I'm, I'm happy with this ultra blue chrome kind of setup. So we're going with that for right now. You'll notice the theme here on the whole Jason the Wheel Warriors, the gold and white kind of stuff here. My armored Karuma. My, uh, another uh, Duke of Death. This one I'd keep. We're not selling this Duke of Death. Oh, I was going to sell the other Duke of Death, wasn't I? Well, before I went across. All right, let's, let's, we'll have to do that next. You know, you have to have a, uh, an armored custom here. A pickup, uh, an insurgent pickup custom. This one's fully decked out. I believe it has mines. I'll have to make sure it has mines. My Torero, this is, uh, not only is this just like the one that was in uh, GTA Vice City, it's also just like a model that I built years ago that I don't even think it survived. I think it's completely fallen apart in the, the 30 or 40 years since I built it. So, uh, somewhere in there. And it's got the Spy Hunter plate. And for obvious reasons. This isn't the actual Spy Hunter car, but it's close. And I think they used this in the Spy Hunter PS2 video game as like the, the reference to the original Spy Hunter. Although the original Spy Hunter was a much different car. It was, a, it was really kind of a wild car. But this is, compared to a Countach, that's saying something. And I've got my, uh, my Yosemite. This is a rough, rough kind of homage to my brother-in-law's uh, white truck, which is, I don't, do not think is as together as this just yet. I think that's kind of a stalled project. Still has it, though. And he's got a big engine in it, and he's doing stuff with it. So, there we go. I have a white pickup for, for that. Uh, let's, you know, before, let's, let's go up here, and we'll, we'll do this fast. Boom. You sent me to rear, ba, 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 ba. Next level. Oh, we really should walk up here. Okay, we're going to do it. We're going to walk. Because there's enough stories up here. There's stories. Okay, first story. Blank. This is an homage to uh, my brother-in-law's uh, 2001 um, Hyundai Sonata. He had a white Hyundai Sonata. This was his actual plate. He actually got a custom plate named Bl that said blank. And there was one time he got a ticket in the mail for a parking violation somewhere in, like, you know, South Philly. And he said, I've never been to that, that part of the town. They said, well, it said that, you know, the blank. And he explained, oh, well, probably there was no plate, so they put blank on there. And uh, they said, oh, well, we're terribly sorry. I didn't realize you were trying to be a smart ass, I guess, was the whole. <laughs> but it's, uh, but he was. He was being funny. Plate's blank. This is the kind of insight you get when you're the son of a state trooper. And they let him go on the ticket. You know, that that's that's a precedent at that point. I mean, it's... That car went something like, I don't know, over 400,000 miles or something we estimate. Because the, the speedometer 
you know, the odometer broke at like 330 some odd, and he drove it for years after that. He drove that. I've never seen a car so perfectly driven until it absolutely couldn't be driven anymore, and it finally died on the Schuylkill Expressway. But the, it was absolutely just a, a you know the, the longest lived car I've ever seen, and uh, I don't know that that's typical for for Hyundai Sonatas, but this thing ran. It ran for freaking ever. So they didn't build that one on a Friday. I'll tell you that much. That was a Wednesday car. This is an homage to my car. The original car I used to drive to high school. My grandfather let me drive it. It was his uh, 1981 Buick Regal. It wasn't a, v, a, a 400 cubic engine. Or it was just a 3.8 liter. But you know, I drove that car for a long time. After a while, it used to leak oil. Like we used to call it the Exxon Valdez because it used to leak so much oil. Oh, he used to piss off my father-in-law. That was before he was my father-in-law. We were just dating at the time. But, I mean, it just it would just bleed oil all over his driveway every time we'd be there. Oh, it annoyed the hell out of him. And eventually, we got the seals fixed in it. And, like, a week later, the engine blew. It was like I was going going to, going to uh, college. I mean, I drove this car through high, from high school in the you know, junior year of college. And uh, I was pulling on the I-81, headed to class, and huge bang. Oh, it was unbelievable. Engine stuttering and sputtering, and the engine, like, you don't need to check engine light when you see, when you look out one window and you see smoke, and you look out the other side of the window, you see smoke. You can't see behind you. Smoke pouring out like it's NASCAR. And I just put my foot down and said, well, this is over, so we might as well just get to class, and I just punched it. 35 miles an hour floored all the way to Scranton. Drove through uh, through the commons of the university, ignoring every single stop sign. Rolled into a parking spot. The instant I took my foot off the gas, it, it stopped. Put the brake on. It just kind of rocked back and forth a little bit. I put it in gear. Click. Nothing. Nothing. Out. I get out of the car. There's like black streaks of oil up the door. I mean, it just blew the engine straight to hell. My uncle, Uncle Butch got his, he couldn't find part of the piston. It was just like, there's a hole in this thing. It just barfed itself all over the place. We gave it to a fire company for Jaws of Life testing, and that was the end of that. It did try to, it did try to, you know, kill us a few times. There's a problem with these. If you ever have, like, an early 80s, uh, you know, GM car, the clips that hold the axles in disintegrate. They were recalled for that. We didn't know this. And we went through a couple of rear end, junkyard rear ends. It, it threw it, it. It tossed the uh, the wheel on my grandparents one, spun the car around. The car never really drove straight after that. It landed on the frame, and uh, I had it come out of come out on me once as well. And eventually, we, we, it was a kind of thing. We found out it was a recall. The dealership fixed it. We didn't have a problem after that. But I lost the brakes on it once. But my friend Chris in the car. We drove home. This was in high school. You know, pumping the brakes and. He kept reminding me about the e-brake. I'm like, I know, and we just pumped the brakes till I got Tim home and me home, and got drive, took the car right to my uncle, and stuff kept happening in that car. It was an interesting, it was an interesting car. I miss it, and yes, I did used to have white walls on it, just like that. And we, the wheels are pretty darn close. That is a very. This is far as the top, I believe, just the back half was blue, and that the front. I didn't have t-tops. But the interior on this, that's that's darn near perfect. And that's exactly what it was like. I missed that car. Good memories. Not necessarily a good car, but good memories. I had good 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 uh, pickup on it too. It was pretty zippy. This, speaking of my grandfather, got rest of him, is his uh, his Impala. He used to have a, a gasoline green Impala like this. And I remember it was somewhere along the line it was involved in you know, a, a, a not a too bad front collision. It just messed up the grill a little bit. But we used that that grill, even after it had been smashed, was so tough. We wrapped rope around it and used it to pull out trees. That was a tough car. I remember that car vividly as well. I've, I think I've raced this once, and it won once, so it's undefeated. We're going to leave it like that, I think. Another homage car. You see a theme going here? This is my uh, homage to my mom's uh, GTO. She had a 66 GTO back in the day. 389 with... Th with uh, Three deuces on it. And this was it. That, that car used to hustle. I believe it was my great grandfather when he was being taken to the hospital. I think it was when, when I forget whether he it was when he was passing, but he was going to the hospital. And uh, 
My mom put my grandmother and my, I believe, was it my Aunt Beatrice in the car? Or Aunt Rose? I can't remember. One of her sisters. And they beat the ambulance to the hospital because that car used to move. But I think she gave it to one of my uncles and then he kind of killed it for some reason. I forget whether he wrecked it or if he just, you know, blew the engine in it. Something bad happened. Not a happy ending, but we have an homage. This is an homage to my dad's 69 Mach 1. Which, this is pretty close. I mean, it doesn't have the right Mach 1 stripes on it. You can't, they don't have that. And yeah, I, his didn't have a spoiler. Um, but you need the spoiler, really, for racing in this game. So I have that on there. Um, it's not like one of the ones where if you take the spoiler off, it's just as good. No. This is, uh, and that interior is pretty close. Yeah, the, the, the steering wheel was a black rim steering wheel. But the, the white seats and the, the wood panel, that, that's all really... It was the white seats, white back seat, and I think it had a black dash, but the doors were right. So this is as close as I could make it. The wheels are pretty close. It's not exact, but, you know. And his hood scoop was uh, the, the standard hood scoop, not this, you know. this is That's more of a, a Shelby hood scoop. But he did have the uh, the hood pins on it. The hood pins are, are, are period correct for what he had. So this is an homage to that Mach 1. So is this, because before this came out, this is as close as I could get. Again, the blackout hood, his wouldn't have the stripes. This has actually more of a Mach 1 stripe on the side, although it doesn't say Mach 1. This was, again, an homage to the same car. And actually, when I got a Dominator GTX, it did the same thing. It's kind of, and you, you noticed already that the uh, my ASP is painted the same way in this account. All my Dominators kind of go back to dad's Mach 1. So that's, you know, as you can see, it, you know, a Mach 1, a 69 Mach 1 will influence you as a child. And uh, that's a thing. As a matter of fact, I think he had different mirrors on his. He had the aero mirrors, I think. I'll have to look at pictures now. I'll have, to, I'll have to look go back and look at that. I never got to drive it. It was the kind of thing, by the time I was old enough to drive it, it had some issues to it. Like, it really needed to be welded in the, the uh, upper control arm area. And Dad was afraid I'd be driving it. It would suddenly turn left and I'd be dead. So I never did drive the car, but... He just actually just sold it only a couple years ago because it really got to the point where it needed a body off, restor like a frame off restoration. And there was a guy who was willing to do that. Gave him $3,500 for it, which is, I believe, what he paid for it. So back in 1969, so... Good times. And when we go up top here, this is this this is in a very fairly significant uh, garage, uh, office one. This and this are both homages to the Circle of Minivans. Now let me let me explain the Circle of Minivans. In uh, let's see, what year was it? I think it was two thousand four. I bought a nineteen ninety six uh, uh, Windstar, a blue Windstar. And that Windstar, um, you say, well, gee, that's a pretty old for when you buy it. But it was pristine. It was low mileage. It was pristine. I loved that van. Um, interesting thing about 1996, that's the first year that Ford was doing plastic intake manifolds, which comes into this story. Because I drove this van eventually in 2005. I had 11 months, I believe. Uh, my in-laws had, had bought previously, back in like 2001, a house in Florida. And they insisted that we come down. And there was no way I was getting my son on a plane at that point. He's five years old. And uh, we said, okay, well, let's, uh, we'll drive down. And so we drove the... It didn't have flames. It was, it was roughly that blue, though. So we drove it down. And uh, drove around a little bit. Went to go home. Went to turn the key to go and just get a thunk. Now, thunk is not the sound you want to hear. Okay, you do not want to hear a thunk sound when you turn uh, turn the engine over. So, you know, you call the tow truck, and nowhere to lie, Larry the Cable Guy shows up. I mean, it's, it was or his cousin, something, I see what your problem is, you're driving a Ford! And uh, I don't need this right now, Larry. And so we get, the, oh, I'm just kidding you, I got myself a Ford Fairlane, and I'm restoring and this and that. We drive all the way. I am freaking depressed, because I just, just wanted to go home. Luckily, I did schedule a few extra days of vacation for just cooling down afterwards. Come to find out the next day that what happened was that the, something cracked in the in the air in the either the heads or in the uh, the intake manifold, 
and it bled coolant into the cylinders and hydro-locked the engine. Then when I turned it over, it bent all the push rods. So the engine was toast. I said, could you get me a junkyard one? Nope, nope, they all do this. So they said I, they took it to Ford. Ford said they could put a new engine in for me, but it would be $4,880. Now that's going back to 2005, and I remember it was $4,880. And I basically threw the keys at them and said, fine, junk it. And uh, it was, that was it. I stole, I said, what are you going to do with it? Oh, we're going to junk it. So I stole all the uh, the knobs off the dash and the, it's my car. Stole the, uh, the took all the floor mats off, anything that was loose to it. And uh, left it there. Left it and we had to go back and forth, ship the title to them. It was a pain. I had to rent a, an SUV to come home. But end up buying a... Uh, a Dodge a Subaru, uh, the Dodge Subaru. I brought a Subaru Outback. The Dodge is my wife's car. I'm okay, the Subaru Outback, which we, we ran that for a lot of years until the heads went and that thing. But uh, you've, you've seen an homage to that if you watch my Rusty Jack uh, garage tour. So I have that car here too. That was a good car. But I was upset about this, and then that happened in 2005. Now, 10 years later, 2015, we're dri I'm driving my Trailblazer. It was a 2004 Trailblazer, and uh, the transmission went for the second time. I was going up a hill. I stopped at the top of the hill. I went to go. It made horrific noises, and then rolled backwards, and that was the end of that. And I wasn't going to put two transmissions in the thing. I'm like, all right. And they already had other problems. The, the automatic four-wheel drive, the electric four-wheel drive had gone. And so we got rid of that one. And so we needed a car, and my in-laws had purchased in 2001 new. So this was this this car was sitting next to this car at the same time when, it was, when the engine was blown. They had purchased a, a white 2001 Windstar. And now by this point, it's 14 years old. And uh, they said, hey, well, why don't you just, you know, we'll give you this one. <coughs> Which was tricky because, like, we, did, we, we didn't have, like, the right tax thing. And we had to find, you know, you're getting the, 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 the title transfer from Florida, Pennsylvania was a real pain in the buns. But we got it done. And, uh, but me and my dad flew down to, uh, Florida and we drove the sucker back and we came back in a, in a snowstorm. By the way, we, we since Nick named this the Floridian because it doesn't seem to like cold weather. We came back in the snowstorm. The, um, the water fluid apparently was Floridian water fluid and that froze everything up. We had no thing. The, the windshield wipers were good for a light rain, but they weren't good for ice. I couldn't see anything. It took us three hours to get from... You know, I think Factoryville is, was it called Frackville? It was Frackville to Scranton or something like that. It was like a ridiculous amount of going 30 miles an hour, trying to tailgate uh, tractor trailers so they would throw slush on you and, you know, get the wind. It would be like, I, I couldn't see. Please, Jesus, I need to see. And then it would magically clear up. The Lord took care of us, got us home. We didn't even go straight home. We, when we, as soon as we got off the exit and troop, we, uh, you know, I went and bought new windshield wipers, put them on, and I was able to see driving home. So that was. But we still have it. I mean, that was from 2005. We've, we've been driving the car for six years, and it's got to go into the shop now. It's got it's it's not running good at low uh, at low revs. Like when it's at idle, like you're, when you're at a stoplight, it's it's chugging. <laughs> a lot of random misfires. You step on it, it's fine. So mechanic thinks it might be a fuel injection issue. So we're gonna get that fixed. It's, uh, it goes in. It goes into the uh, shop tomorrow. But we're we're still driving it. It's got a couple dings in it since then. You know, it's got it's been bumped in the front a little bit, bumped in the back. It's, it's the paint is that Ford. It's starting to come off around here a little bit around here. But it still runs really good as far as you know. Once rolling on the highway, it just needs. We gotta get that one part problem sorted out. And this is a pretty good approximation of what it looks like. And so, so I have this one. And you know what? I, this isn't a bad car to drive. It really is. It's not like super fast, but it's not. It's not twitchy. It doesn't slide around. It's a. It's a, if you need to just cruise around it in game. It's a good car. So I have this. This one is a regular one. It's not a custom. This one is a custom because why not? The car is dead already. You imagine someone dragged it out. We dragged it out of the. Uh, the what you might call it? The the junkyard. I've never put a heavy uh, kit on anything because I don't like the way it completely tilts the wheels out and in and out. Like they let it look like that. But so this one, you know, well, how could this be an homage? Well, I do have a friend who has, is uh, his family owns a uh, a funeral. Uh, you know, they own a funeral. He's a funeral director. He own a uh, 
Oh, I'm having a brain fart here. I'm having a stroke. What is, what's the word I'm looking for? It's always when I'm doing these things, you know. They own a funeral home. That's all it is. A funeral home. Why am I mixing that up? I'm trying to think on my feet here. As you can see, there's a, 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 a casket inside. But this is how they have theirs. There's, there's silver. Jacob Davis Funeral Home over in uh, Taylor, Pennsylvania. Highly recommended. And so I figured, hey, why not put... Why not put my friend Robert's, uh, you know, hearse in the thing? I can use this to spawn other hearses for people. Not that I've ever done it. See you later plate seems really special on this one. I like that. Now, this is a tribute to my Uncle Bill Savell. Not a perfect tribute, but that's pretty close. That's pretty close to his Chevelle. So, same color. Same back end. The front end, I think, is pretty unique. I don't think that's really quite the Chevelle look, but that's uh, he had that Chevelle for a lot of years. And for a long time, like, the, he had the Chevelle, my dad had the Mustang, and it was kind of like they kind of had a, that was their thing they had going for them. And it just probably had a lot of things going for them, but as far as the cars were concerned, that, that was their signature car. That was, you know. And uh, the Chevelle didn't last as long as the Mustang did, but we it, 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 it was there. Now this black Pantera is uh, this is there was used to be one in my neighborhood like just like this, 351 Cleveland in the back, you know. So I made this Viserys to remind me of the one that I used to, I used to just gawk at. You was parked right up the street, and you gotta love a black Pantera. You just do. This is a weird one, okay? This is a weird one because. I forget what was going on, but I had this dream that I was driving a maroon Dodge, Dodge Charger. I don't know why. And I was like, you know, at an airport. I was flying back and forth from some place. I'm in a candy shop of all places. And my, my dad's there talking to me and, and telling me that, you know, it's okay. I'm making the right decisions with my life. Like, there was a lot of weird things going on with it. But it was a very reassuring dream about, you know, yes, everything's okay. And it was it was a beat-up one. It had you know, some damage to it. I should probably really make it a beater, dude. But it wasn't that beat-up. But uh, there was like a little bit of wear on it. It wasn't like a new Dodge. It wasn't too beat-up. So this is my, I call it my dream car, because this is reminding me that really everything's okay. Because this reminds me of that dream. It's a weird dream. There's a lot of weirdness in it. Let's move on. Um, this is just a standard clique. I think I have, um, I think I have a model of this car, like, once, you know, a 40s Ford or a 50 Ford, something like that. I had painted up the same way. It's got all the standard bespoke stuff on it that you need for, for racing. This is my standard clique racer. It's not the Christmas Creek, the Christmas Creek, Christmas clique racer, but we'll, we'll get to that later on. Okay, let's go to Garage 2. Maybe. Here we go. Now you got a lot more functional cars going on here. We got the Deluxo, the Back to the Future Deluxo, obviously. Don't need to, you see me use this all the time. Street Hawk, got to have a Street Hawk. Give it a little bit of a blue hue, just, you know. The original, I think, was just black, but why not give it a little bit of a police kind of Street Hawk sort of hue? You're not going to really notice the black on blue on black there. Blue on black, tears on the river. Batmobile. I think I tricked something out with the paint here, because that looks kind of like... It's almost like a pearlescent over classic. I don't know exactly how I did that. It might just be that it's metallic. I didn't really realize it. Just, why, but So it has kind of a comic book, sort of vaguely purple look to it. That's, that's the Batmobile. The Mach 5, obviously. You gotta have a Mach 5. Now this is another another Matchbox inspired car. One of my favorite Matchboxes was a Javelin, a green Javelin like this, and it's not a perfect rendition of it, but you know, it's pretty darn close. Love that car. Same with this one. I had another orange, you know, Mustang Matchbox that I just said, well, when the LA came out, that was as close as I could get to it. Might look a little bit closer to the GTT, although it was more of a '71. Mach 1. If they ever get a 71 Mach 1, I'll probably replace the alley with whatever that is. But they have so many Dominators, I don't know if they'll add any more. There's a lot of Dominators. And we'll we'll rush upstairs. Booga, 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 booga. Booga, 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 booga. 
18 van, and this is my Mandela Effect 18 van because I, this is how I remember it. it. Was you know black over black, and they tell me it's silver now. Apparently, the top part was like a dark silver, which I can I guess I can explain away by you know TV sets back in the day. It, it could it, was, it could just look like the sun was shining on the top part of the van. And you'd think it was all black, and the toys were all black. They didn't, they didn't two tone the toys. It was just black with a. So that's my my Mandela effect eighteen van. And the burrito, the uh, is it a gang? They call it a gang burrito. Or is it just a burrito? Yep, the class A gang burrito. Dun dun dun. dun. It is what it is. I think it does. Think, I do think it has the top speed of all the vans. So if you're in van racing, it's a good one to take. If you want the the, the rumpo. And you can handle the handling. It'll outhandle it if you don't flip it over. But I think going with the top end is probably usually better. I, know, I like this one. Hey, Scoob! You go classic. And I want my own take on it. I really couldn't get the blues to match unless I changed my crew. And I wasn't going to do that. So I just made it a little bit more funky. But that's my Hey, Scoob. And of course you got your Politically correct. What happened to the darned... Is that a lighting thing? I don't think it looks that chewed up normally. It's just a regular American flag. With the, the crew emblem on the side instead of the 01. So there's your politically correct uh, Dukes of Hazard charger. You can't get the, the Dixie flag in, in GTA. You can have a gang attack where you go just shoot black people or Mexicans or something like that because that's what the gang is, whatever the gang happens to be, or construction workers. You can just go slaughter people in this game. But for heaven's sakes, don't put a, a Dixie flag on a car because that makes perfect sense. Okay, not that, you know. I'm sorry, the Dukes of Hazard was not racist. Not even, they were, they were, they were and Dukes of Hazard is one of those things where it kind of taught Northerners that. That Southerners aren't all racist, okay? It was a great show as far as that was concerned. And um, unfortunately, uh, yeah. I didn't, you know, I just realized with the, with the roll cage in, there's no other seat. Huh. I think you could get in there. I think you'll see two people. Oh, there's a little padded thing there. Okay. So that's that's my take on the Dukes of Hazard. I do have another car like this that we could talk about. There is another Dukes of Hazard link. That's in another garage. We'll get there. We'll, we'll talk more about what my thoughts were on the Dukes of Hazard as a kid when we get to there. But now, the family truckster. It's it's the law. You have to have a Regina in the game, really, because it's just the Regina is the Regina. And I have one. And here it is, the family truckster, done up in metallic P, or as close as I can make it. Sadly, you can't do the, the double rows of, uh, of headlights, but it's there. This one, of course, you know, this is my tribute to 48 Hours with Nick Nolte and Eddie Murphy. I don't know. This this is another one where it's probably so niche. Does anybody remember that movie? Does anybody else want a limp? I don't even remember if that's from the first one or the second one. But we've, we've got that car here. The Mirthmobile. That's my best approximation for the Mirthmobile. Self-explanatory on that. If you don't know what the Mirthmobile is, you really just Google it. The Mirthmobile. And Tofu Boy. Now, this used to be a regular Fudo in this spot. But then when they came out with the obvious initial D homage, I mean, Tofu, it's, uh, this replaced it, I think. I, there's a video where I, I switched these around. Um, I think I kept it and I did something else with it. With the other Fudo, I didn't. I didn't junk it. I just. I just modded it some other way. We'll see as we go through the tour whether I modded it or got rid of it. If we can find it or see if it's around. Booga 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 up the stairs. A booga booga booga. I don't know if I'm gonna get through all these today. This might be a multi-day video, so we'll see. This is my homage to the custom saber custom saber turbo. That's the regular saber turbo. That's this isn't a custom one. This is a regular saber turbo turbo turbo. Regular Saber Turbo. I can talk. I'm not having a stroke. That you find in GTA Vice City. It looks just like the one you can just pick up at your car dealership once you get the car dealership. And very cool. My Tommy Versetti Saber Turbo. Obviously, Halloween car, Halloween literature. Done up in pumpkin. 
It's pumpkin-y. Here's my other Fong Constange. This is in more of a Halloween purple matching the interior of that. It's very purpley. So much purple. 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 Purple, 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 purple. Original Christmas card. People might forget that the... Uh, this came out at Christmas. The original Tampa came out at Christmas time. And we did this up in red and white for Santa Claus. And this is my original Christmas special. I drove this around in the snow a lot. It was, it was a funny thing. That came out as a Christmas card. This is my Valentine's Day special. Because, you know, you would need something vaguely French. I realize it's a Lampadati game, which is Italian. But this, this is a Citron in its heart. And so... I gave it like a red romantic paint job. And I originally had pink lights. I think I changed them to yellow to match the headlights just for better style and, and more out of holiday usefulness. And so you got you gotta like the Pigale. It's 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 a nice car. It's one of the fastest front wheel drive cars, I think still, but well, to, I don't know if it's been trumped by later things. Probably. But it's I think it's still the fastest front wheel drive sports classic, so we'll go with that. This was my original, and it still is, St. Patrick's Day special, which I could drive in a muscle car race on St. Patrick's Day, but you never have those, so, you know. Moonbeam Custom. Why it's a muscle car, I don't know. But that's all tricked out. It's all moonbeamy. And you've seen this more than once, I'm sure. The Easter special, the Easter egg special, Custom Donk. Could you have something more Eastery than this, as far as an Easter egg kind of... I could have put stripes on it, but uh, just just the pure pink. The pinkness of it kind of just works for me. And now we're on to the other garage. Okay, this was classically my Top Gear and, you know, Grand Tour. And then eventually Hoovy's Garage. There's one Hoovy's Garage car here. There's an homage to Clarkson's Vietnam Special Scooter. There's the FMJ that I believe Clarkson drove... Through my state, actually, he drove. A, he, there was a brief, uh, a brief glimpse of. I forget whether it was Interstate 80 or 380, something along those lines. Where I was like, "Hey, Clarkson drove through here," so I got. I have a, a red FMJ based on that. The Vision, I believe. This the Vision. Not a, not a specific Top Gear kind of car, but it's the kind of yeah, it's a Vision. It's the kind of thing they do. I love the paint job on this. I worked hard on that. It came out really nice. Love the, the combination of the livery and paint. The shown is a car I don't drive off enough. We have to do that more often. Neon. This was, Now, this is another one that has been in multiple uh, Bruffy streams. Never ends well. A lot of acceleration, and that's about it. But it does look good. I love the tires. I love the way the wheels work on this. The tires and the wheels, along with the paint job. Love the look of that car. I take that out just because it looks cool. It's, this is a Furia? I think it's a Furia. Yeah, Furia. Again, another... I don't think it's ever been... I don't know if it's ever been on any of the shows, whatever inspired this, but it's the kind of thing you'd see. Now, this is as close as I can make to Richard Hammond's... Um, what the hell was the name of the car he wrecked? It was, a, it was a $2 million electric car. What the hell is it called? Anyway, he almost got killed in this one. But uh, destroyed his knee on it. There are only eight of these cars in the world. Now there's only seven. And that's as close as I can make to the paint job that was on his. So that's a true homage to the car that almost killed, again, Richard Hamm. Now, the, he was really... That broke screwed up his knee. He was in a coma from that one rocket car. But, you know... Now, this Emrys, I believe that is the paint job of the Emrys that got reviewed on, I forget what, which which one it was, Top Gear, or probably both, because I think they're only giving out one uh, one car to drive. So there's an Emrys, you know, based on the Senna. And so that's uh, that's that. Here we have, now, you've, you've got, there's no stripes, you get, there's no liveries for these, so I couldn't put the, the right stripes on it, but you've got my 811... And my, uh, my, what you call it? My Turismo R. Turismo R, right? Yeah, Turismo R. Which is kind of mostly the LaFerrari. Alright, and then you got my T20. Which has been done up like the P1. So this is the original 
uh, you know, the Holy Trinity, as they called it in the Grand Tour. That's the car, the three cars they raced against each other. And uh, so there I have those. And they're all cars you should really have anyway. They're good cars. This is my Zentorno, done up pretty much as close as I can make it to the uh, Sesta Alimento that uh, Richard Hammond drove in Top Gear. There's always, you know, the Vaca, there's always a yellow Gallardo doing, you know, hanging around somewhere on those shows. I think this is uh, an homage to the one that the Stig used to beat the Huayra on the one uh, track. Was it? No, no, no. That was a Porsche, wasn't it? That was a Cayman. It was a yellow Cayman. There's a, there, there's yellow Vacas around. There's, there's Gallardos all over the place in those shows. They always have them on there. So there's a yellow one. And, oh wait, now which one is this? Is this the Tempesta? Am I mixing my cars up? Okay. So I have a yellow Tempesta and then the Vaca is the green one next to it. Right. The Reaper. No, it's a Reaper. I have a Vaca too. Where's my Vaca? These are all the same. Well, I, you know, so I have a Reaper and I have a Tempesta and somewhere there's a Vaca. I have a Vaca. It's, it's, we'll find the Vaca. I think we have a Vaca. If we don't have a Vaca in this account, we had the, the blue one and the other one. I thought there was a vodka. It's up here. Um, let's see. This was like a military old cycle kind of thing. What the hell was this one? Oh, yeah, the FCR 1000. Custom. So, so that's that's the kind of thing that Richard Hammond likes to fall off of in his spare time. Um, Chevarek. They've done a lot of Russian thingies with the Chevarek. And um, this is my... Uh, True Chrome Chevrolet with the 42, uh, what do you call it? I did it up as not a rusty one, but an actual true racing, well taken care of Chevrolet. Got the Nero. This is a, I, I, I think I did a, a Transformers special somewhere online. I did this one up light drift and uh, keeping it that way. I like it. Originally it was gold and black, but the, the ultra blue looks good. You gotta have a Nero. They're just nice. And the, the spoiler works on them, you know. And if you ever have to grab a, a a stock one, spoiler still works, so you still get the advantage of the spoiler. I think that might give it an edge, but you gotta like the Nero. You have to have a Turismo Classic for for uh, you know class sports classic races. It's the top dog. This one's in red because ninety nine percent of them were red. I do have one in blue that's a very rare one and the other character, so I have one of each. You gotta have a red one. I had originally all three homages to the uh, the Biftas that they drove in the one was it uh, Namibia special in, in the Grand Tour, but when when things started to get tight, I got rid of the red and the white one and just kept the, this one because it was the only one I think that had a spoiler on it. So I kept that because this would be the one that would be the, still the max performance one if I ever wanted to drive a Bifta in a race as often as that comes up. So we got Clarkson. So that's Clarkson's Bifta from the Namibia special. His, I realized that the spoiler is on the nose, just to be goofy, but Rockstar is apparently not that goofy. So, this, now we're finally off of the Top Gear stuff for a moment. And this is Tyler Hoover's purple, you know, Barney uh, Rolls Royce. My Windsor, my Windsor here. And uh, it's a nice car to cruise around in. I don't know that I have an actual use for it, but neither did he. He got rid of his. But uh, <laughs> here I've got it. It's the purple Barney car. We've, we've got an homage to that. Obviously, we're talking to, you know, there's the, the Richard Hammond 6x6 Mercedes he drove through the desert. We've got that right here. The, 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 the G, you know, what, what G Wagon was this? What the, I forget what the original G Wagon. It's a dub to 6x6 here, but I mean, what the, what the heck was it in, um, in Top Gear? It was a G Wagon. It was just G something. I don't know. Gee, that's silly. Okay. Let us head down to the basement of my arcade. Hope I've got the, the, the button pushes right on this. Otherwise, you're going to see me driving between garages and not see the actual tour. So, let's hope not. I'm not going to go to my... my uh, First person, because man, it just I think I I think it actually kept the green yellowish tint from the the mask on the lemon thing. I think there's something you're not there's the lighting in here is such crap you're not gonna be able to see anything. 
So here you have my original Zion uh, Cabriolet, which is, you know, one of my favorite cars, one of my original cars that I grabbed off the street, I believe. And it was the top dog for racing for a long time. I don't think I ever raced it because no one races coupes, but I'm keeping this one forever. I love that car. It's a beautiful gray. Here's my 8F Drafter, which this is a car, another car I should probably do more bold racing with. You know, this is, it's got that same kind of vibe as the Tailgater S does. It's, it, I didn't do anything really radical with it, but it is a nice red, so it's a little bit more aggressive. Are those lights just glowing like that, or is it just all, I don't know, that's wild. It's just that white. And here's my, my Gauntlet Hell something with the Hellfire, okay. Hell Dog, whatever you want. Um, Hellcat demon kind of thing set up with the neon green with the with the supercharger did i put the things on the back yes i did drag car i have it's a, it's a nice way to zip around in another bruffy favorite done in bruffy colors the original infernus i hop in it not only to show you the orange uh, underglow here but the pokemon the the the, the pokeball uh, taillights so this is kind of like half Lamborghini, half Huayra, but it's a, uh, there we go. Good car, nice car to drive. My black Batmobile kind of Tesseract. Tesseract is an interesting car to drive in a race, because although it's not the best, it's not bad, it's got a pretty good top end. But if you get out in front, it is unaffected for the most part by catch up. So you can just, why can't I not catching up? Because you're slow. Ballista Kanjo, I did a, a lot of, I did some, some really intense videos proving that this was faster than the Brioso and the Splits. It really can, much more consistent car. Not a great car drive, but it's, it's, it's much better than the, the Brioso as far as I'm concerned. I, have, I can't get that thing to handle worth anything. And I do have one, but uh, yeah. Now, of course, this has been obsoleted by the golf thing, but you know, the club. But it's there, and we have, we keep it. Here's my run java 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 run java 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 run. I might repaint this. Because it does have the custom, you know, free tartan paint job on it, but I don't know if that's wild enough for the vehicle that this is. The run java 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 run java java java. It goes in water, takes 25 missiles to kill it. So it's it's an interesting thing. Uh, here's my Pegasi Tauros, which again is another top gear kind of thing because uh, I think there was one this exact yellow. Not that it looks yellow here, but I mean, it was done in, in the series, one of the series. I think it might have been a Grand Tour. It was one of them. Here's my Drift Yosemite, which is another kind of homage to my brother-in-law's truck, what it could eventually be. If, because I could see him putting Camo and an American flag on it. That's just, you'd have to know. Here's my Adder. Which this was actually, it was a funny thing. I was experimenting with the paint jobs on this for my Mustang. And I ended up with the same paint job on it, and I liked it on the Adder. It's kind of an egg yolk kind of thing. Look at this. It's my eggy adder. It's so eggy. Such an eggy car. All right. That's the, so that's, that's everything here. Okay, let's check out some more apartment parking. I know, there's a lot of cars here. And you can say, well, how could you possibly need more garages? I need more garages. I've got lots of money and nowhere to buy cars. Nowhere to put them. Got one spot. I need more garages. You say, well, you're just not willing to let stuff go. Well, that might be kind of true. Let's see. How, do we still have the yellow? Yeah, that's still, still that's obnoxious. Okay. Here's my Felzer. It's another one of those cars where it's the law. You have to have a Felzer. Standard B-class racer for uh, you know, the B-tier kind of thing. So I have my Felzer. There you go, Bruffy. I had, you know, what am I doing with my life? Another Bruffy, you know, imperative, the Monroe. I'll be honest, I'm not real fond of how that drives. I've driven it again a couple streams. It's a tricky car drive. I think that's why it's 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 liked. You know, let me see something here. I think I can do this. Can we go style? Accessories, glasses, none. No, accessories, glasses, none. Okay, there we go. So now at least I go first person. You can see it without any of the... 
the shades. Now here's my Brioso, which I'm going to make a plate that says Mario, but we haven't done that yet. This is the Mario. This is also a Mario. So it's, you know, this is my, my Shafter V12. I think it's a V12. Better be, because I've been using it like it's a V12. Yep, Shafter V12. One of the best ones to use for, for sedan races. The Luigi's are over here. This is a Luigi. Look at the Italian flag. And the dragness of it. It's just, you know... It's got the, the 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 green and blue for the Luigi, and my other Luigi, my contender, which isn't a contender anymore. You know, this used to be the top SUV, even though it's not an SUV, and now it is not the Tauros. That yellow Tauros blows doors off. It used to be number one. Now it's just a, an Azram, but it's a nice truck to drive, so I keep it, even though I never drive it. It's here. It makes me happy. That's enough. The Blista. This is how I won all my races before the uh, the Blista Kanjo came out. You take this out and people go, ah, ha, ha, you're not using the Brioso. And then you just blow their doors off because, uh, first of all, it has a higher top speed. And second of all, it doesn't spin out randomly in tubes. So you just crush everybody. And it's a little bit bigger. So if they try to ram into you, it didn't end, it didn't end well. So I had a lot of good times with this Brioso. It's a nice car. This is an, another... There's really no use for this Sentinel. Um, but again, it's one of the original ones I grabbed off the street. It's an old school. Thought it was something really special somewhere along the line. And I just keep it. It's, it's, it's again, from my first days of GTA. So we're going to keep that one. I love a bullet. I wish they didn't do the bullet so dirty and make it so slow. But you got to love a, a bullet in golf colors. It just, it just do. Now this, there's, here's a story with this one. I'm glad we came to this one last. This was when I was a kid. And I'm watching the Dukes of Hazard, and I'm from Pennsylvania, so I really, I'm not a southerner. So if I was going to have a Dodge, what I was going to do is you'd make it to General Grant, put the American flag on the top, and do it blue, an ultra blue kind of thing like this. So it's an anti-Dukes of Hazard kind of thing. Yankees. Because we Yankees or Yankees, we you know we did win the war. You know, it's that kind of thing. So this was a, uh, you know, this was my initial thoughts before you, know, you watch the show for like you know a lot of years, and then it kind of softens you to the whole what the hell, what's this whole north south thing. I mean, there really when I was a kid, there really was still kind of a north south thing. I don't know if there still is because people moved around so much, but there really was a high out there and Yankee kind of thing where you you weren't necessarily you know. I remember when I was really little. There was a, a guy, we went to, to uh, Gettysburg, and there's a guy buying, ha you know, rebel hats for all of his kids, and my dad made a point of buying me a, uh, somewhere I have a, a northern uh, army hat. I was like two. And so, But there really used to be, back in the day, kind of a, a us versus them, north versus south kind of thing. And as luckily as I've gotten older, I don't see that really all that much anymore. I don't feel that. I don't know, maybe it's still there, and I'm just not, not perceiving it, but my experiences in the South have all been friendly. I mean, we, you know, every time we used to do vacation in Williamsburg, years upon years upon years, and it was like always a good experience, so. There was a time. But then, anyway, this is, uh, this is my General Grant. That's another one I'm not getting rid of. And let's see, we can move on. Okay, let's see. I don't know if I got that button just right. Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, I did. We are recording. Okay, so we're going to pull up here, not run over the oblivious people. Let us hop in. Decidedly more off road kind of vibe here. Uh, another Duke of Death that I could probably get rid of. I love the paint job on this. It's just funky. So I probably won't get rid of them. I'm going to get rid of that black one, I think. As much as I like it. And I always break down when I'm trying to sell it, and I don't because it's such a Fast and the Furious kind of thing. But I think, again, have I really watched the Fast and the Furious, like, ever? No, I've never actually seen any. I've seen clips of the movies. never seen the movies, believe it or not. Now we get into my Patriots. So this one, some of these are not insured. This is another one where if I bring it in, I will lose the, 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 the brush guard. So I keep this one stock, not insured, can't leave. You can't make this. You can't once this goes into a an auto shop, it's gone. You can only keep it this way. This 
was that my original, this is one of the first ones I wanted to get, my original uh, Patriot, which this was before it would strip the lights and the exhaust. Now it strips the lights and the exhaust. But I did get a custom, I was going for kind of a root beery orange kind of like, you ever get as a kid, you just mix sodas, and you're mixing root beer and orange and that kind of thing, and weird kind of just, a, you know, or cola and orange. That's uh, that's what I did here. It's a kind of a mixed paint job kind of thing. I, I do like it. Not quite a bruffy color, but, you know. But this was one of the ones I really was happy to get. And it's got the custom exhaust you can't really keep anymore. And the lights. That is insured. So I can drive that one. This is also insured. This is how it strips it all off. I left it completely stripped. Put a chrome crew paint on it with the with the uh, the chrome, you know, the ultra blue wheels, or whatever kind of wheels those are, the other, the blue, to match it up. And this one, I think it might even be crew wheels. This one is for the day when they finally fix that glitch, and it doesn't strip everything off. Then this will be a rare. So I have rare patriots all around here. These are all just rare. This is my dub stud from when I tried to get a dub stud two. And that didn't work out, so I just grabbed one of these and I made it like half and half. Half gold, half chrome. There's your dubster. I got your dubster right here. So that's what that was. I did eventually get them on the other character, but not on this one. This is the Lego Mobile. My minister that I said. It looks so much like it was made out of Legos. Why not make it look like it's made out of Legos? As I drink some pumpkin egg mug just to keep my voice going. I keep this mainly because... It's got a, it, it, that looks like pretty close to a crow's unit, which is an interesting thing. <coughs> I think we put accurate weapons on the thing, so that's a, that's an interesting vehicle right there. I don't think it has really much use in game because there's there's never a situation where a, a insurgent pickup custom wouldn't be better. It's faster. I think it's better armored. I think it's got a better gun, but we keep it. This was stolen from Merriweather, you know that kind of thing. Moving on, you have to steal that one. Is insured. It is insured. I think I have two of these. I think I was going to customize one. I always say that and never do it. Um, got the trophy truck. Got the desert raid. They perform exactly the same. I only need one, but I like them both. So we're keeping them both. I, go, I, I vacillate on how I'm going to keep the wheels on this. Whether I'm going to make a match or not. And go, go back to stock wheels. And the Vagrant is, of course, this is another University of Scranton Vagrant. This one I went with the purple and gold. Yeah, the purple. Oh, there's some white there, too. So it's got all three colors from the U of S. And uh, so there's my Vagrant. Which is the, the fastest thing you can drive in an off-road. Except, for, of course, which is the real fastest, which is a motorcycle. Okay. And be a 400. Oh, and before I forget, new car right of passage. Ha! They couldn't quite cut me off in time! Pfft. All right. That, that went pretty far. Okay, let's get the motorcycle stuff out of the way. At least most of them. And of course we've got, you know, you have to have an Akuma. And a Kachu. The Kachu, this was my racing bike for the longest time before the, you know, the, the newer ones came out. Like the very similarly done Kachu Drag. You gotta have a BF400, and I do. Sovereign, gotta have, especially for Fourth of July videos. Now this one, let's see, yeah, the Night Blade. Now somewhere, and I'll see if I can dig up a picture on this. I, I have a, there's a good friend of mine who he, I don't know if he's still building them. He did build them, uh, custom bikes. I think he's still building custom bikes. You know, Jerry Tully, and he built a bike called the Nightmare. And this is not even a close approximation to how wild that bike was, but it's the best I could do in game. So this is my homage to the nightmare, to the, to the, the nightmare. And there's a picture of me riding it someplace. I'm gonna try and find that. And uh, not like rolling down the road, just sitting on it. That was some really good pictures from that one. I should probably put up one of uh, of Roxanne in this one. We had Roxanne posing on the. Uh, what you call it? He had, he had hired a model. We, we put the model on the bike. Well, he put the model. We, my, 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 actually, the funniest part is, is I was doing this as a vlog. I'll put a link in the description to that vlog. And um, my, my mom was doing the, uh, the, the, the photography. So when you see these pictures of, 
you know, of Roxanne here. That's my mom taking them. So, good photographer. And she's got the skills. Mad skills. Here's a lifeguard. You could grab it off the street. I did. It's here. Is it insured? I think you can insure it. Yes, it's insured. Everything's insured. Anything here we grabbed that we didn't insure? Nah, we're good. This is the Dinka that's from the Cayo Perico. You see this one I did a little more clean. Didn't put all the boxes and stuff on it. Uh, here's my Western Dame stolen from the Lost. And then, of course, the the PC uh, 600. It says a 7675, but it's a 6. You know, that's the uh, you see J6. That's your, your, your Grand Theft Auto Vice City homage. I might get rid of this one. Because I'm really never going to ever use that. It was grabbed off the street. And then if I, if it depends. If I have room, I, have, I could put one more bike in here and then get another another parking spot out there. Because I do have a couple bikes out there in the world. That's another place I could probably make some room. Well, that's nice. They're still doing it. Okay, here we are. It's Black Friday. Continuing with the tours. I didn't do the, uh, I didn't do this for um, Rusty Jack. I did not go through the bunker. I really should have done it. Other people will do that. Maybe we'll switch out. We'll try to do it efficiently. This is ready to roll, but I'm not ready to roll with it just yet. Okay. So here we have my... my uh, what should I call it? My anti-aircraft gun. It's the heaviest. This is the one where it'll kill almost everything in just a couple hits. So I got that. You'll notice I've got this kind of tricked out like um, Armada Optimus Prime. I think it's Armada. That's that's kind of the really with that kind of extended wide trailer. That that really does give it an Armada Prime. with the same gun in the same place. Really, they they were they were basing this more off Armada Prime than anything else. I mean, they do have a, a you know a tractor that looks like you know the one from Knight Rider, Goliath. But now that's that's my Optimus Prime deal here. Oh, we should go in the back. I knew there was something else. Flip it. Beam me in. Ha! And here's where I'm keeping my Stromberg now, because I needed an extra parking space, so I got rid of the workshop. And getting rid of the workshop is not that big a deal, because I've got one of my Avengers. So, we're, we'll, we'll see that later. We won't necessarily see the workshop, but we'll see the Avenger later. But for right now, let's do this. Let us switch up to, let's see, where we want to go. Yeah, let's go up north. But in the meantime, let's swap out and look at that other that other uh, MOC. Okay, let's take a, at least we can see this in the really bright sunlight here. Services, Kutsaka Sparrow. There it is. Oh, holy over there. The green doesn't quite perfectly match with the wheels and that, but it's not bad. Let's get close enough. I'm liking. I'm digging it. Whew. Now, does that slow you down or make you go faster? I don't know. Okay. I'm pretty sure I just sold this one. It's not going to be have too much in it. I'll get to the other one when it gets on point. Eh. Not to only 14,000. But here we can go in here. You can check out America. This is another kind of match my outfit kind of setup here. That's it's, it's, it's very America. America. And this time, yeah, I paired this up with an orange cab. Gotta like it. And I've got the guns. Same dealio. Poom poom. Alright, that was just the, the one bit from the... I don't have any uh, golf carts. Isn't that funny? I mean, they're totally useless, but I don't have any of them. That was the last bit of the Rusty Jack tour, so we just, we're just going to stick it in the middle here, and now we're going to continue on. Woo All righty then. Another another session I could not get into. Just floating in the cloud until you suspend process and then resume. I don't know how you play this game on PC if you're not like an expert in PC kind of thingies, you know? Or at least knowledgeable, you know? 
Okay, are we running? Yeah, we're running. Okay. Okay, enter garage. So that's the whole point. And let's see, here you have what we have up in the north. Of course, you know, you gotta have a Camacho. It's so macho, this Camacho. The big old uh, ammo case in the back. Shut up, Lester. It's a must have. Again, another one of those things I've grabbed off Merriweather. I think this is the one. Well, I have to pick which one is just going to get repainted into something funky. Because I have a feeling there's a lot of potential for funkiness here. But it hasn't happened yet. It hasn't happened for years. So I don't know. Is it even insured? It is insured. And this is totally useless. But I mean, look at it. I mean, just, just look at it. Seriously. It's a thing. You know? Now this... This Evron is, you know, as close as I could come, really, to the way that <coughs> the trucks looked in the North Pole Ascent. I don't think they had a, a spoiler, but you need the spoiler. It's, 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 it's the law. And, you know, so this is my true homage to the Top Gear uh, North Pole Ascent. You know, they went up the North Pole in trucks. That's it. This is my one of my original Steelers bugs. I have had this forever. Gonna keep it forever. Is it insured? Yeah, it's insured. All right, my, my original injection. And this is the the buggy I used to get the uh, ultra rare uh, panel. You know, the the buggy with no body panels. Now you think, well, you'd use that buggy to get the buggy with no body panels because you need to you need a buggy to spawn that buggy. But then you should sell this buggy. But no, I kind of just like this was this was you know. The tool I used to get it, it seems to me like it has a historic significance to me then. So I keep both buggies. That might be wasteful, but it's not a waste if I'm driving it, right? Zoom. Well, we're going to take a quick zip up. I don't have too much sense. I gotta get myself together and get the van over to the garage. We can, we can finally solve this rough idle problem. Oh, don't tell me it got stuck. No, buggies shouldn't get stuck ever. No stuck buggies breaks. Ding. It's a big front door. Pink. There we are. All right. A little timing was a little off there. And here we have my Avenger, which I can use to upgrade stuff that I can't do with the MOC anymore. It's all... Yeah, that technically is a cro uh, chrome crew kind of thing, but it looks more blue than it does. It looks more crew than it does chrome. But you look at it at certain angles, you'll pick up the chrome. Which I forget was a, just a white bottom. So let's look at everything. Gotta have a weaponized Tampa. That one you can't hardly see is green, but it's a green weaponized Tampa. It's nice. My original white elephant. Insurgent. A lot of good memories with that. You gotta you gotta have an insurgent, right? Another Duke of Death. The uh, you know, the the or I like to call this one the Ook of Death. Do I get rid of that one? Seems like you should have a Duke of Death in a facility. It just does. Granger, that's one of the ones I stole off the uh, the guys in one of the blow-ups. Seems like you should have a black SUV in a in a, uh, in a facility, doesn't it? That just seems like it fits. My my Christmas APC, that'll be coming out very soon for doing some stuff. I don't know what we're going to do as far as the Christmassy stuff is concerned. Will I even have a Christmas video? By, by this point, you'll know. But, I mean, I don't know. I think I may, I may start just enjoying the holidays and not... Worrying about you guys know Merry Christmas from here all the time for me. It's 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 we're, we're good. We got the tank. Kinjali is covered in candy canes. There's Beachcomber. That's my Beachcomber uh, 
Dune Fav. I did it in Beachcomber colors. That's another Transformers reference. And the half track. You have to have a half track. That's right. That's, that's cool. My grandfather was in World War II. I drove one of those, and I think a German 88 took the front end of it off, and he, he barely escaped, but he did escape. That's everything. There's not, they really should be more parking here. You know, I mean, Rockstar, if, you know, if you want any suggestions, put more parking. There's a lot of room in here. Put more parking in. Why did you limit it this much? It's just ridiculous. We could have stuff all over the place. Parked off on the sides. That's ah, craziness. Okay, does that work? Yeah, it's working. All right. Let's check out the casino garage here. The penthouse garage. Wish we could have gotten more garages with this. And here we have cars that I've won on the wheel. That's pretty much the only theme here. This is my Krieger. That's actually my main racing Krieger for this account. It's an important car. Left the paint job as it was on the wheel. I've got another Devest 8, which I don't think you can really sell them for all that much. And left this one completely as it was on the wheel. I didn't even add a spoiler. Let's fix this over here. Didn't even add a spoiler. Which way we work on our way here. There's my uh, swinger, another swinger. So I've got two swingers and two Devest 8s. Because I won them on the wheel, and you, you can't, I don't think you can sell them for much, but still, you won them on the wheel. Hey, that's special. It's, it's a pretty purple. It's, this is back, I guess, when the paint jobs were a little better. And lately, they've been really kind of muddy. And, you know, your free uh, Paragon R armored, which you can't race, so at least I have one. Now I, I have a, an R and an R armored, so that's good. There's, there's that one. Inferno's Classic. In pink. That would take that. That is what it is, right? The first classic. Flip, flip. Between the Toreador and everything else, yeah. The first classic, a pink one. Don't generally take that one out too much. I'm usually if I'm if I'm driving uh, sports classics, I'm in the Cheetah or the Turismo. But yeah, it's nice to know it's there. Got another Schlagen. This is another dupe because I have a green Schlagen. I like my green Schlagen a lot more. This one is, uh, did I put a spoiler on that? I think I did. So it's, it's, it's raceable, but not that you'd want to, I'd probably take the green one. I just, I just would, but it's here. I, yeah, I don't, I don't know that you get the full value of it if you, you sell them and, you know, it was a moment. Hey, I want a car. Wow. You know, I just realized that a lot of these are dupes because I do have, now, I don't know. Do I have another, uh, another Gauntlet Classic in this account. I think that other one is on It's on my other character. Okay. So this one isn't a dupe for this character. We work our way up here. Yeah, Morgan. This is an interesting car in that it was extremely imp impressive for a little while when you could sneak a turbo onto it. And now you can't. And now you can't even do any of that because the, the app doesn't work. But uh, still impressive acceleration. Interesting car. That's an interesting car. Interesting paint job that came with it. And we've got another... This one is a duplicate. This is. I, I'm going to put a wing on this. I think I'm going to do this one... Do this one up like the uh, the one from Cannonball Run. Cannonball Run 2. Actually, it doesn't last very long in Cannonball Run 2, but it, did, it was there. And this looks like I have another spot. Something get blown up. I thought I could have swore this was full. I mean, hooray! All Morse Mutual operators are on call right now. Please try again later. All right. Hey, another parking spot. We should pull one of the other cars. That I won because there are there are other cars that I've won. Oh, let's see what's over here. Dooby 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 dooby. Ah, oh, the buggy. Let's park the buggy. Vehicles. 
return vehicle to storage now. What? Ooh, the. Do, well, no, is it the Segoy? No, it's not the Segoy. Which? What's another one that I have? One on the wheel that I parked out some part of cells. I mean, we could continue go back to trying to win one on the wheel, but I don't. I don't I'm on the such clock. Limited what you parking. want? Some wheels? Yeah, it wouldn't be there. It'd be like somewhere in. Like in the Reno workshop. I do have another San Angle Classic. Look at that. Oh, that's the San Angle. Not the, uh, the other Classic. Okay. So many Classics. The other Vito. Oh, that's a Vito Classic. If I had a Vito. Laptop Lemonade, man. Well, you know what? Is there a PR4 there? They might have won the PR4 someplace. None of those. None of those. The Penumbra FF. That was a wheel win. I remember I had another one that was a wheel win. Do, 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 do. Yeah, and this is slammed in the ground, but otherwise it is as it was when I got it off the wheel. Let's put it back up in the uh, casino parking lot. Zippity doo da! Zippity! Okay, that means that now that this is here, this is still everything that has everything in this garage has been one on the wheel. And we have another parking space. Oh, that's good. Good times. That is good times. Okay. Check out this garage. Alrighty. So what we have here is we have a, a 190Z, which I'm quite happy with. This is something I should do more bold choice racing with. It really is. I've got a felon, you know, GT, which is not as fast as the felon as I recall, but it's gold. I painted it gold, but check it out. It's got TBK in the darn license plate, so I had to keep it. So that's why that's always going to be there. Well, we're not going to we'll go. We'll go up and down the line. Stop it! This is another one of those uh, cars you just grab off the street that they're kind of rare, and I guess I could get rid of it. But it's here. Is that a truck, a, a loader, a what the? Rod at the rat loader. The rat loader show up. I tell you what, this is one that's on the bubble. It's one of my oldest cars. I remember, you know, seeing things where people like to use these in races because they're they're kind of durable and stable. But they, they, they can't hold a candle to anything going nowadays. But again, it's in that group of my oldest cars when I was painting everything black and then giving it a pearlescent. You know, Black Knight kind of stuff. But I could see ending up having to uh, unload at some point. Because I every time I do one of these tours, I, I will talk about having to unload the the Stanger, and I, I don't do it. So yeah, I'll paint it. I might paint paint it like a light gold here, just because then it'll match the car, the rental that we use to go to our honeymoon. So that would you know, at least from the. From the Honeymoon Night Hotel to the airport, that was as long as that lasted, but that was, uh, so we had one. That actual car, it wasn't uh, the Ford version of it, it was the Mercury. We had a, a Grand Marquis. Close enough, though. This one, this Ruiner, you gotta have a Ruiner. It's the law. And this pretty much, I, I did minor modifications to this. This is how I grabbed it off the street, and I thought, well, this kind of fits with the liveries of a lot of my cars anyway. So I kept keeping that. This red insurgent I could probably get rid of. This is just my homage to that big red, uh, what the heck manufacturer was it? It goes back to a Top Gear episode. And I moved it out of the Top Gear garages, and I figured, well, I'll leave it here. There's really no use for uh, an insurgent anymore, because you have the insurgent pickups. 
And so, I don't know. It's it's pretty nicely done up to match what was in the show. So we'll hang on to it for right now. Tyrant. You gotta have a tyrant. It might as well be royal purple. It's a big super car. You gotta like a big super car. Again, this is another car I've had it forever. And I wonder why this one has both the seats are done properly. That's interesting. Um, so I've done it. I've had this one forever. It's just a Sultan. It's just a Sultan. Ain't no, no, a little bit revved up. Not much different from what you can grab off the street. I've had it forever though, so therefore I'm trying. And I intend to keep it for right now. We'll see how it how it goes. I have it. I really should drive it more, but yeah. And this was one of the the original freebie. Christmas kind of things. It's freebie Christmas, so I'm gonna use that. I'll, you know, for maybe if I end up doing some Christmas racing, you might see that around. Now let's shoot up the road just a bit, like just a bit. It's just up the road a bit to the other garage. So convenient. Zip dee doo. Boo -boo 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 All right, let's go back to first person here. Let's check some things out. We've got the magically bulletproof glitched uh, Karuma, which I'll still keep after they fix it because it's a nice car. So I've got that one there. Same seats as in the Sultan. That's interesting. Now this is my Weevil that I've done up like Kirby. And yeah, you have to slam it to get maximum handling out of this thing, so it is ready to race if I'm ever in a Weevil race. Or some kind of compact race where I just am memeing them. Maybe I'm if, I, if I'm in a bold choice. Retinue Mark II. You gotta like this one, the Jakey's Lager Retinue Mark II. My, this is the, of the two Retinue Marks. This is the one I kept. I kept the, uh, the Globe Oil Ron. Cause that makes no sense because you know you gotta enjoy things that make no sense so there's my retinue mark one these are all kind of old the, the old rally car i guess this is kind of all rally cars right here nothing but rally cars and the sylvestra on the end sylvestra is not the best performer not the best driver but it looks nice oh so, hey it makes everything look speaking of the rally theme continuing here's my searchlight car my uh gb200 the ford rallier looks just like the transformer searchlight you know, one of the pull, pull back and zip ones with the throttle bots. It looks like the throttle bot surge light. That's how I've done that up. You got Darth, another rally car. Darth is probably completely obsoleted by the uh, Issy, the Issy Sport, but I mean, it is all black. Really dark black. It looks like Darth Vader. It has a Darth plate. That's why I keep it. The Mr. Bean uh, Issy. Will that qualify as a rally car? I think we're starting to blur things here. That not it's it's tricked out. I guess you could you could rally it. It probably wouldn't be a good plan, but you could. So Mr. my homage to Mr. Bean. Now we're completely off rally here, but here we have, you know, my my this is again one of my older cars, and the nine hundred R, the Banshee nine hundred R. This is one I have driven for a long time. And every once in a while, like this this car doesn't have any kind of right to do as well as it does. It really does better than it should. It has a high top speed, but you shouldn't you shouldn't do as well as it does with the handling. It does have pwn in the license plate, so that might have something to do with it. And this this thing, the Raptor, eh, it's weird. That's about it. It's not really great to drive, but it is weird. I can see getting rid of the Raptor. Not today. But at some point, it's just a weird little thing. Does it bring joy? I don't know. At some point, there might be some other car I need that brings more joy than that. The others, I think, are all safe. For the most part. Eh, you're not sure how much joy you bring. We'll have to, have to figure out a way that you bring me joy. Now, what else is close? Do have anything else on... Oh, you know what we could do? We could check out our special vehicles. Let's do that. Not now, Ron. Oh, 
So you notice it's got like a kind of that funky. You can't really see it once you get in. That funky shifter. Almost looks like it's like a a joystick kind of. You tried to block me, you white van, you, but you didn't do it. Ooh, over the top. That's an interesting hitbox. Ship of the do da. It's an interesting handling car. It has a nice feel to it. And zoop. It slides around. It's like you can almost just rotate the thing. It's really kind of. Must be a factor of all that torque. Uh, down here I have a full, I think a full, I, I'm not missing anything, I don't think. I still need an, an uh, what was it, the Outlander, the, no, the Wastelander, there you go. Outlander, that was that thing that came after Bloom County. This is the Wastelander, I have one of these. Down, 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 tappy, tappy, down. Come running down the steps, boom. Okay. So, in this one, the Blaze Rockwa is made to look just like Jeremy Clarkson's Whatever that was, that was really a Blazer Aqua when he was the aquatic thing when he was racing Richard Hammond. My Ruiner 2000, I have it with the crew blue, so this is the Ook 2000, the Ook Industries 2000. We've got this painted up just like the uh, the original Top Gear one that that sank. Uh, not necessarily a great thing going on there, but still, you know, it, it works. It, it, it's a workable. And you got, just have, you know, here's here's the Wastelander that don't have, there's there's your uh, armored box still, not what you can do with that. Here's the Wastelander that I didn't have in my other character. Still want to figure out how to paint the Phantom Wedge. And you got the fully tricked out crew over chrome. This is another neon tetra paint job on the Rocket Voltic. You can see that. One of the first only things we're like zooming in on here. And if we've got a, a crew blue. That might be even crew over chrome. Phantom wedge. Yeah, it's a crew over chrome with chrome uh, on the outside. So it's yet rusty yet shiny. And so there's all the specials. A lot of special stuff going on here. $500,000 bonus gift with the season of giving now in full flight. Enjoy a special 500k on us. Let's play GTA. All right, well, we're doing that, so we should be set. All right, here we are, the Maze Bank Auto Arena. Let us go check out these wheels as we continue the tour. And that's the bathroom. Okay. We, we don't need to use the bathroom right now. We can upstairs. I never, never spawn here. Me clipping through the wall, boom out, boom out, boom out, boom. You can't go that way. But you know, one thing I didn't do with the other two, I just realized that I did not tour up my custom remote control car. That's a show, RC Jack has the little van, so it's that's a thing. But well, let's look at the bigger things that are all really just imaginary toys, too. All right, what? To forget what I call. Let's let's go to the old thing. I'll forget what the names are. Bip. You get a pretty good view here. Okay, there's the lemonade train. Again, one of my favorite vehicles. Put the lemonade man off it on drive around. That caused havoc. Slap chop. Hi, it's Vince with slap chop. I'm gonna slap any troubles away with slap chop. That's that's you know my. And by the way, that is uh, that does benefit from the big wheel glitch. So I've got that one cut, set up with the big wheel in the back. The lemonade van. Got that going for us. The lemon cruise. Had a lemonade theme going. The JPS, the John Player Special Cosworth V8. We'll take a little look at that real close. But just regular apocalypse dominator. There's a story there. <coughs> Another last V8. The Sprite. 
that gives him the can of Sprite, the Dollar General, and the just got no name. Okay, that's just as I recall. See, here's my Impala, my Impaler, which you know these I had kind of a lemonade theme going here when I was wearing the lemonade outfits. Good, good vehicles. Here's the slapped up. You can see it's got that high speed wheel, so I can just wheelie with this thing and gain huge amounts of speed. A lot of detail on the gun there. You never notice the bullets. You can just see the bullets going in. John Player Special. I call it that because it's black and gold. I wish the black and gold popped like this on the uh, Phoenixes, but for some reason it just doesn't work on the Phoenix. But so we've got that. That one there, that's that's the, the, the future space version of it. This is a, a Dominator. It was one of those things where I, I grabbed the Dominator up the street and it saved me from being killed by something. And then I just promoted it to this. I tried to keep it, you know, it's just the same kind of gray with the with the chrome fender wells. That's how the car was. Didn't change that and I just upgrade, promoted it to that. You get a better look at the lemonade train. It's so huge. It's big. Uh, those are the default spikes. I don't have the, the kill a person spikes put on it because that's just, you know, it's problematic. I end up just killing myself walking up to the thing. Uh, here you go. The last V8, the clean version of the last V8. It is an apocalypse dominator, but you can you could take all the rust off of it. Leave, you know, just leave it without any kind of weapons, and that's just how it was in the original Mad Max. That's, it, you know... Then the beat and the beat up modified version you see in the Road Warrior, but that's that's the clean Mad Max version. Then on the other character, I had the the roughed up version. It's even more roughed up than what you see in the uh, in the movies. There's the sprite. It's just a bright green, lime green, rusty apocalypse little issy thing that is very useful for that one game mode, the monsters versus whatever you know the. The mini versus uh, Goliath, you know, David and Goliath kind of version of the game. And here's the Dollar General. I'm being completely ironic with that because it's just yellow and black like the Dollar General signs. And it's it's big. It's beefy. And I don't have a ram on the front, so it's easier to climb on top of things and crush them. Because if you climb on top of them, you just kill them if you, if you squish them in a, in a game mode. doesn't work, I don't think, necessarily in regular, you know, free mode. Yeah, okay, I think that's everything here. Let's go down a floor. B1. We're going down to B1. Going on down to B1. Everybody wants to be one. Okay. So now you're talking, I believe that's the IndyCar one. Yeah, the DR1. So we got DR1 here, which I haven't done much with, really. I haven't, it's here, though. I've got one. Okay, here we are in B1. And here's, there's my IndyCar. Was it the DR1? The BR8, the fastest one. The more modern Formula One car. I think it's an R88. I always get these numbers mixed up. This, is, this one's kind of neat, because this is, like, it's close to the... Uh, John Player Special Formula One cars as you're going to find. The Lotuses. It is an Ocelot, so that, that that works. I think. That's actually the one I'd probably like to drive the most. Those are the ones I should be driving. Especially that one. And no one does open wheel because the open wheel tracks are all pretty crap. So we're just going to just forget about that. But glad I have them. Maybe someday I'll... I'll go back to doing some of that, but it's not really in the plans for right now. They're all so they're all so troll track. They're all so difficult. They're, they had to make them so technical to, to match the performance of the cars. They're just not fun. There's no flow. At least that's my opinion. Got my Vito Classic here. Hello, Vito Classic. We bounce over here. My club. It's a nice club. I like it. You got to have it slammed so you get the full effect for the handling, but it's it's a club. Fastest of the compacts now. Now here I have another Tampa. Now I have the Christmas Tampa, so technically speaking I don't really need another Tampa, but this one is another nice homage because this is kind of, it's like a half Mustang, half Dart kind of thing. 
probably a bunch of other 60s muscle cars. So this is another uh, homage to my dad's Mach 1. So we, we keep it. It's, it's, it's here. There wasn't enough room to keep it in the other, uh, gr the other garage. So it's here. Didn't get rid of it. A little black and ultra blue Z-type. We got that going for us. Gotta have a Z-type. It's And Sterling GT. I wish they had well, liveries on the, the Sterling because, you know, I had one that was a, a model car. I didn't have one of these. I had a model car that had nicely you know, racing numbers and stuff on it. And this is kind of just the closest I could come to uh, to what that was, really. So... I think I, I think I wore it out and broke things, and the wheels were missing from it, and at least one or two of the wheels were missing from it. It didn't have the thing on the trunk, though. It had the, it had a tire in the in the trunk, so I guess it wouldn't have had uh, better handling. So that's just how that works. Now here, this this car was a long time in development because it took me forever to get all the jumps that I needed, the stunt jumps, so I can unlock the metallic lime. Metallic lime. I should really use that in races more. I have to do more bold choice racing. It's it's just what I need to do. And here we are in B2. Okay, I remember now. This Futo used to be the one that was in my office garage. That was my initial D uh, homage. And we've we've spruced it up a little bit. It, it's been spruced. So, yeah, it's, it's you know... You had to do something with it. You can't just get rid of a Fudo. Fudos are Fudos are Fudos. Bestia GTS here. Still haven't done much with this. I need to come up with something for that at some point. But I have one. Yeah, I like the Bestia. The Bestia. The Bestia will get the Bestia. And, you know, you got your standard OJ Simpson Bronco Chevy kind of only version kind of thing. Don't know what I'm doing with this yet. Again, I have it. It's here. They're, they're not bad to drive. It's just, you know, it is here. Now, this one. This one, we may as well do this up now. Why not? Save us a video, because we're going to need this at some point for Christmas. Uh, vanity plate, they're calling that? None custom mod one with the... All right, what's that? What the heck is that? Oh, okay. No, we're we're good here. That's I don't even know what that is. Okay, we're gonna do this up. Brakes, bodywork, doors. Like secondary mesh frame will do. We want some secondary stuff here. Bumper panel. Stock bumper panel. Custom bumper panel. Carbon. Dirt bar. Carbon. Mark 1 battering guard. I guess that's pretty chunky. We'll, we'll go with that. Racks. Removed cartridges. Hmm. For what we're doing, we probably... But it gives it some... Full cartridge traces. Black open grill. Let's do secondary grill, grill cage so we could give it... Side panel, basic panel, carbon, blah, 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 blah. I want something... Oh, there you go. Open it up. Something secondary. Again, we want to give this a lot of secondary color. Well, that's at least... We'll, we'll, we'll save a little money. Secondary half cage. Secondary camo net half cage. That looks annoying. Secondary custom half cage. There we go. Turret bracket. Carbon detail, riot frame. Reinforced frame. That's actually probably better from a point of getting shot at. 
Yeah, let's let's keep it too. let's keep it easy hard to get shot. Truck bed. Empty the tire rack. Yeah, give the guy a little more. That looks just fine. None. Bed rack, dirt bar. Bed rack with duffel bags. That has potential. What we're doing. Let's go duffel bag. Oh my goodness, there's a little delay there. It scared me. Okay, engine. Rev it up. Why are we getting these these delays here? It's freaking me out. Let's cross hatch. Twin racing exhaust? Where does that put them? Booga 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 out the back. Twin competition. Yeah, twin competition. That looks good. The guy in the back won't be huffing too much. Hood rack. I want something relatively... Let's just put a hood rack on. Horn. Do we have... None of the, none of the Christmas ones are out. I don't think. I think let me get my headphones on. You do Halloween forever. Okay, we're gonna leave all that go until we can. Maybe it's closer to Christmas time. We'll be able to get something. Again. I don't know if you know where I'm going with this yet. Headlights. What color? Eh, probably just white. White's white's unlocked anyway. Neon kit, neon layout, front, back, sides, white. Livery. Cincinnati Nove. Deck the halls with balls. It's a wrap. I think we're going candy cane. Oh, trees camo. No, candy cane. Candy cane's got the most whimsy. Respray, primary color. Now, there's a couple different ways we could do this. And we could go with something like an ultra, like a white. Like an ice white on that. That's very candy. Bright purple. We go with a, with a kind of a contrasting. Go with a standard red or green. Or ultra blue. The blue again, candy canes on blue, we've proven, looks good. Lime green, no, that really doesn't work. Uh, the dark green could work because that could be green, you know, red and green for Christmas. So it's just red. Now, what do you think? The white or the red? The red looks good, the white was still Christmassy, and we could probably pull some. So we could put some white on the secondary and then really brighten it up. I mean, if you looked at... This is what comes out. The ice white. That looks like it's all just a big piece of chocolate, doesn't it? White chocolate. We could just do it brown for brown chocolate, too. I mean, that's... Of course, it's going to be in the snow anyway. Torino red. Just red. With a pearlescent. No. 
The pearl pearlescent, no. Sneeze, come in! Okay, we're back. Now let's brighten it just a little bit with the Torino. Secondary color, we're going to go to metallic. Now we're going to go right to the ice white. See, that's why I wanted all those secondaries on there. We can go back to the bio work. We can see if we can pull some more of that in at some point. Transmission, make it go zoop. Turbo, make it go zoop. Weapons, top turrets. They say the 50 cals actually deal more damage. We'll let those go. Um, let's see, is the rear weapon... No, they do, oh, they do have they do have a grenade launcher. I like what it does with the box. We're going to go with the rear mounted 40 millimeter grenade launcher. Wheels, wheel type. We're going to have to go like, I don't know, low rider. With stock rims. I do like the flares. I've always had a, a soft spot for flares. Wheel color. Where's the white? A little frost white there. I wish I could get the ice white, but hey, you know, you take what you can get. That'll perk it up. Bulletproof, of course. Leave the white tire smoke alone. Now we're back to armor. Oh, this is, let's see, is there anything? Yeah. And bodywork. So, and now we're going to keep that until we see something. Now oh, the camouflage, does that does brighten, is it too much? Ooh, that one might leave you under the secondary reinforced frame, yeah. Bumper panel. That's see, that's a crappy color. Oh, here you go. Mark two. Why did I pick carbon? Mark three battering guard. That's much better. Racks. Yeah, it's definitely that. Side panel. I think it might look better with the basic panel. It's like a big old. Yeah. Roll cage is pretty solid. It's Secondary custom cage. Can we do that already? That, that an even better. It goes further back. Turret bracket. Yeah, we're sticking with that. Truck bed, sticking with that. The horn we're going to have to wait on. But now it is the Christ the barrage of Christmas cheer. I'm going to take that puppy out. Somewhere along the line, this will be... You know, well, I mean, it'll probably debut in a video before this ever sees the light of day. So you'll have seen this in some Christmas video. And now you'll know when it happened, when I was making this video. Back in... Oh, it's Black Friday of 21, so... There's that. Okay, dude, that's the first thing we looked at, right? No, because we looked, we looked at... From there to there to there to there, we're all over the place. Here's my coquette black fin, convertible, topless. And it's a nice light blue, so it still fits the song. My Corvette's blue; it's standing outside. It's all good. That's an interesting car to drive. Bestia we covered. Let's jump to the other side. We still have room for some for another uh, Cerberus here. Nightshade, doesn't look like Bumblebee as close as you could do because they don't give you better they don't give you a lot of options on stripes for this. I think it's just the secondary. I mean that's just just it. But that's not bad. I think we're they think that works as a bumblebee car. And you know, can I can I take it or leave it, I guess. Is this something where down the road if I'm really 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 pressed, do I have to Yeah, I could, could probably but for right now, it's gonna sit right there. 
Itali GTB. Again, I'm trying to figure out what the hubbub is about this. Maybe I'll have to do some, some bold choice racing with this one. I don't know. It's going to be here for a while. Now this, this Segoy. Let's see, I need to, can I change the view here? There you go, so you can see the lights. This is a, a actual, it's an interesting thing here. It's not like a replica or an emo, it's, it's just, this is Bruffy 1322's actual car, except I don't think his has the orange interior or the orange lights, but it should. That would make perfect sense. Or actually, if truth be told, I should have it like a purple light set and an orange interior, and then it'd be set. But he actually, that's what he drives. He drives a gray Civic. So, uh, my idea behind this one is not just to, you know, oh look me, I got a, a Bruffy car. I thought this would be hilarious to actually bring into uh, a Bruffy lobby. And uh, lo and behold, he has a gray one that's actually done as close to his car as you could possibly do. So this would just be. Not quite right. I just I just, I just end up with a Grey Segoy that was a joke that might have worked somewhere along the line. And then really didn't. So there there you have it. I should do like the wheels purple though. Something somewhere along the line. Should we do that now? I don't know. Purple wheels though. That doesn't... It's nice enough. It's a nice enough car. You don't have to make it goofy. And here we have a Ron Sentinel Classic. So, I mean, this is that's another must-have. The Sentinel Classic, I got all these on some kind of deal, as I recall. So, All right, so what do we take? What do we take out to go to the next location? We're going to take the Christmas vehicle, I think, obviously. It's Black Friday. It's Christmas season. I can start driving this around. And where is the next closest place? Did that. We did that. We did those two. Right? Yeah, we did those two. Let's go down the road. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. I'm gonna drive over you. Merry Christmas, I'm gonna drive over you. It's been way too long. I'm trying to think, did I do because I'm doing this over a period of days, did I already do the nightclub? Yeah, I did the nightclub. We talked about the uh, the hustlers. So we're starting to get to the end of this, and I, this isn't the, my nightclub here. My nightclub's up the other end. This is Rusty's nightclub. I do have the same garage here because time and space don't matter in GTA. So, here we have the actual car that I got from doing that mission for Dave. English Dave. Why would English Dave have a German car? None of it makes any sense, but he's, a, he's got the Volkswagen. And that's it. All I've done with this one is souped it up, put a wing on it, and slammed it. So you can, you can still tell it's a Dave car. Now here's my ETR1. I, got, I came to this rather late in the game. And I never really have properly customized it. I did I did fully upgrade it and you know do the, the wing delete so it get, you actually get the downforce of a spoiler if you take the spoiler off. So, But this is, this is a nice car to drive. I'm going to try and do more with that as time goes forward. Pariah. And this was this was in the era I was really into that that beta fish, not beta fish. I always say beta fish. It's the neon neon tetras, neon tetra fish. Does this not look like a fish car? Is that not a fish? Like, this is where this so this one I believe is the car that started it all because it was like, hey, it looks like a fish. My favorite fish is the neon tetra, those silver with the the red and blue and stuff like that. So why not? And that's where this whole paint job came into play. And it ended up on my Wagner, and it ended up on my RE7B, and I don't know why those don't have more of a blue accent to them like this one does, but you know, they're, they're all the same paint job. Isn't that weird? It's a weird old thing, but these are three cars you got to have. I mean, it's just they're, I have such history with all of them, and just love them all. Love them to death. I might repaint this one at some point. 
And this I feel like I won't get a livery on again. I might get rid of the beta kind of look to it. But I don't know what I'm doing yet, so that's not today. This one, though, is it the tulip or the vamos? I think it's the tulip. Yeah, it's the tulip. So we don't have to get rid of the tulip. The tulip, the tulip I don't think it handles as bad as the vamos. So we have that. It's not an important car, so if I really needed space, I could get rid of this. I got it on a deal, I think. Gotta have this car, my Richard Petty-esque. Um, at least that was the goal for the paint job. My 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 Saber uh, roundy round NASCAR thing. Hot ring Saber. There you go. Gotta have that. That's a must-have. That stock tires on, so people think it's a stock car. Get it? And they don't know it's fully upgraded when I completely toast them. Piss Voss or Dominator? You know I. Figured I'd make it like root beer. You know, there is a place up here, Lion Brew. I think it's the Lions Brewery, that uh, Lions Head Brewery. I forget. I have to look. I should look that up. Um, they make beer, but they also make really good root beer. I thought, well, hey, this could be the Pissvasser root beer car. As they break off into, look how root beery that looks. That is the most root beer thing. Yeah, a little darker, you can make it a cola, but it's it's very root beer. Don't drive that very often, but every so often, if you end up where you're in a, a muscle car track that obviously needs top speed, this is this is a, a good way to go. I don't know. I have to look top speed wise how far ahead of it is of the of the ASP, whether it's worth it to give up the handling. But that thing slides. The Burger Shock Stallion. It's just cool. It's been done up. It's not the fastest. It's a free car. It's not worth selling. It looks cool in the garage. If I had to get rid of it, I could get rid of it. But I like it. It's here. And of course, here is my LG Retro Custom, which I always kinda like that the this is another one of those, I believe, like a red over black or red over dark red, red over wine kind of colors, with the pink to offset just to give it a I think it might be my own I don't know how many cars I have with pink wheels, but this is one of them and it really does work, I think, in my opinion. So let's continue on. Oh, look, this one does have, it does have the uh, the base Ugook logo on it. Okay, moving on. Okay, here we are, down by the airport. A lot of cars of sentimentality and extreme purpose in here. See, are we recording? Yes, we're recording. Okay. I should do a little edit thing. No, now let's roll with it. I won't do the little edit clap. We'll just go with the, the flow on that one. Itali GTO, it's the GOAT. Thing dominates sports races, especially stunt ones when it hits those tubes. That's a keeper. Green Vigero, that actually is uh, an homage to a matchbox I had as a kid. Still have it someplace. That might be. Is that up on the shelf? Let me look. Is that up on the... Yeah, I think that is. I think that's up on the shelf somewhere. Maybe not. I'm not seeing it immediately. I remember putting it up there. Ah, it sits around. Good green Vigero. You gotta like it. This isn't the the Issy I decided to keep. Of the two, this one ha is as it is. Pretty much, I think I did. Did I even share it? Yes, I did beef this up. But it's uh, it's the one I I did I did I completed a couple stunts with this one, and uh, you gotta have an Issy. So that's my Issy. It's a sentimental thing. I think I, I, I was getting away from something, stole stole this car, did a st completed a stunt jump with it, said, all right, you get to stay. Here is the bare rails version of that buggy. I said you can only get with another buggy. you got to get it to spawn in and then steal that. It was a pain in the buns. There's only one location. Well, this, we've got it, and it's here. And it's insured, so we'll always have it. Unless I sell it, and I don't plan to sell it, because it's probably not worth anything. This is my original Baza special. Did I put Baza on the back of this? No, I didn't. When I, this first came out, this was like one of the first cars you could throw a uh, a livery on for that uh, Princess Robot Bubblegum. And Baza was a guy I used to play a uh, freelancer with who was famous for his anime, manga, hentai kind of addictions. It was kind of... He kind of broadcasted a lot of hentai kind of stuff as far as his, his uh, you know, his avatar and his signatures and the way he, things he talked about. And 
He talked about when he turned 18, he was going to have to burn his hard drive because God only knows what was not. We, we busted him a lot about it. He was an interesting dude. Interesting and... We'll, we'll, we'll leave that at that. So when this came out, I thought, oh, let's, you know what we'll have to do? We'll have to make this as a, a Baza special. And that really... That's gone nowhere. No one's... I, I doubt he's ever seen anything about that or gets the... He's probably... This is a decade ago. He's probably not even into it anymore. God only knows. But... Hey, it, it captures a memory for me. So I guess that's really the purpose of these things, isn't it? That's what really it's about. Night Shark. I got these two Night Sharks. I got these at the same time as the, the, the Night Shark and the... No, uh... <coughs> oh, I said it really in the video. What the hell? The Revolter. Well, okay, couldn't think of Revolter. I got these at the same time as I got the uh, the Irish one and the Lemonade. They were free. I don't know why I decided to get two. Two sets of them, because they were free and I had parking. But, I mean, you know. Um, yeah. Do I really need these at this point? Probably not. I might eventually just liquidate these. Because, honestly, I forget what the point was of having two of them. Probably not going to get rid of them today, but it's... They're, 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 and I'm not going to get anything for them. I'll get the upgrade uh, free, because they were free. I think it, that's what it always comes down to. I got them for free. If I wanted to replace them, uh, it would be a lot of money. On the other hand, I would never want to replace them because why? Why would you do it? What? Just to, you know, do you want to race another Revolter? And I guess in, in the... Uh, was I that invested in the Tetra, Neon Tetra fish look back then? Probably. That's the same paint job. Hey, yeah, you'll have this. I guess I had a, I had a theme going, so... Similarly, this has got the Chrome Over Crew. This is my Chrome Over Crew Stratum. I forget where I got that, but you have to have a Stratum. It's the law. You can see this. I think this was the car I actually experimented with to get the uh, the Chrome Over Crew look. And I kept it for that reason. So it's, you know, it's a works car. It's an experiment. And so we'll keep that. This, I really, honest to goodness, thought that this Sentinel XS was faster than all the other coupes. Because just look at it. I thought this would be the, the true one to race with. And now I keep it in honor of my ignorance of what, you know, was fast and what wasn't fast. It's just, it's not bad. It's pretty quick. But, you know, if you try to race a Zion, it's going to take you in the corners like there's no tomorrow. I don't know if it has a higher top end. But, you know, Zion, if you're going to race, Zion. And, of course, here I have my, uh, another version of the pole position kind of, uh, liveried little rally, you know, Brioso classic. doo 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 Yay! Okay, so. Bad news, it's raining out, and this is gonna be, you know, getting me, getting me wet, I guess. So, what are we... We have any other place else to go, really? Okay, I've looked at the map, and the, the the last few locations are best found by finding new sessions and setting set and waypoints. So let's do that. Okay, here we are. Do we get any bullets from that? I don't even know. Here we are aboard the Rook. How do I get out onto the deck? You forget that they give you just free guns, free guns, free bullets. Help me get oh here's the bar. It's a lovely bar. A lovely bar tender, so I don't need a drink right now. So going back out the way I came, back into this way and that way and around and the thing with the thing and the other thing and there's a door. Exit the yacht, cabin. We hop outside, and here you have the 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 Rook, you know, which is based off of the battleship that we had in, in Freelancer. There you got your speedos, you got your night, your your your, your whatever they call the uh, jet skis, and you got the, the rubber raft kind of thing going on. This is a Pisces, the same as. Uh, the same as Rusty Jacks. So they, this character and the other character both have the same yacht. Uh, different paint scheme. 
This one's the black and red versus the uh, you know, the true black knight kind of thing here. And you know, but we've got the same fastest equipment. And so there's that. And that's pretty much. I don't know if I can get you a uh, a long view of the rook. I didn't really get a long view of the. Uh, almost fell right off the boat. We could take a, a shot from the helicopter here. I think I might have done that with the other one. Yeah, it don't matter. The other one's white and orange, and this one's red and black. It's it's. If you've seen one Pisces, you've seen them all. Not with people. I'm just saying with the boat. You know, it's so. There it is. There is the rook. Now we'll warp again. All right, let's beam in here. On the hangar. Boom! Crash through the door. Find the steps. The red's really getting on my nerves. I really had enough red. I have to change that up at some point. But anyway, here we have our Sprunk Racer, the you know, the, the AZ One, I believe it's called. There's my Rogue, which, as you can see, is in that same Chrome Crew with those red highlights, fish kind of thing. Um, pretty standard. Uh, ooh, don't cut yourself. Pretty standard Hydra. Again, the same themed cargo bobs. You can have a personal cargo bob. Here you go. This is as close as I could get to the Tales of the Gold Monkey kind of... Whatever that show was. I'll have to watch that. I'm sure I can find it someplace and watch it and see if it was as good as I remember as a kid. Or did I just like the plane? Probably just like the plane. Well, that's Matula. I did get uh, the... Um, this on both characters. I think this one's a little more tricked out. Not sure. Another stealth helicopter. Here's another stealth helicopter. As you can see, I really did go for the whole crow, groom, crow, yeah, groom, crow. Chrome over, crew over chrome with red highlights. But it's so chromey that it's picking up all the floor. And you can't really tell. It looks like it's a red helicopter. But it's not. It's, it's see, now there you can see the blue with the white winter camo kind of fang. And you got blue thunder. I did a Blue Thunder homage here with my hunter. You had to. You had to do a Blue Thunder. Now we're going to just completely screw up the floor space by showing you the other stuff. Storage. We have a Molotov. Say hello. Let's see. We have a Savage. We'll put that in. Obviously, the last one's going to be... The Besra. I don't even have the best right here. I don't even know. The best right is not like a... Well, I did customize it, so it does look cool. Cuban. The Cuban looks just like the other one. They're just, you know... It's just there. Maybe I repainted it. We'll look at it. The Strike Force. We'll look at that in a moment. The Ultralight. And let's see. The Pyro. And the Dakota. And there's more. The Starling. I have only one more in there before we do this. Th the rogue, the sea breeze. We didn't have the sea breeze out, did we? Okay. We'll look at these planes before we pull out the volatile. So as you can see, we went completely Christmassy with the Nakoda, and that's all tricked out, missled out, loaded up. Moi, Christmas. You could do Christmas fly around and wish people Merry Christmas with that. Pretty basic savage. It's just here. Just that's the one we just. Uh, a classic uh, Pegasus that we just stored so we could have it as a personal vehicle. Woo! And the Bezra. I don't know if I, I don't think it actually was able to increase the performance of the Bezra, but you could you could deck it out. So. I forget why I kept the yellow as opposed to going full on tetra tetra fish, but hey, it looks good. Good enough. 
Here's a Chrome Cuban, which I'll probably never use. But that came free with the play, so what the heck. And there's Power Glide! You have to do a Power Glide. At least one, right? Transformers, more than meets the... Okay, it's... I'm happy with it. Sea Breeze, terribly useful. Did this again. In the Neon Tetra. Pyro is just a winter... A winter, uh hunter out there. It's, it's for ready for hunting in the snow. Or over the snowpack, so that if you're coming down from above, you can't see it. And uh, my Nakoda, I haven't done much with. This looks like it's just a model that your parents weren't didn't allow you to paint it, but I mean, that's... Uh, maybe there's a little bit to it, but not, not too much. Okay, we got one more plane. One more plane to show off. That's because when you remember you take this out, it kind of dominates the uh, the landscape. It's not volatile, and it is volatile. Hello, big engines. Actually, they're not too big, but the whole thing is huge. Different look from my other one. No, I didn't go with the Princess Gu Bubble Gub look on any of these, but you can. I mean, we can could, we could show you that. I'm not going to keep it. Yeah. And E to modify, and you go down to livery. Let's get a look at it. There's Semper Fi, War Veterans, what we got. Volatile 985. I don't know what the, the significance of that is. Underside white, sweeping stripes, none. Princess Robot Bubblegum. The most aggressive Princess Robot Bubblegum that there's just so much bubblegum. Oh, we switched it up there. Hold on. Then you got Impotent Rage, Panic Basketball, and some more normal things. So we're, we're not changing that. That's just, we could show it to you. The gunner points. And so that's, there's the whole, uh, there's all my planes. And I think, oh, we're going to look here. I have to get outside. Booga, 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 booga. Oh, yeah, we forgot to look at this. Yep, there it is. Hang glider. Ta-da. We, ha we have one. And do we look at the starling? I don't know if we look at the starling. We have a starling, too. Not much done with that. So we do have them. There's someone talking on the... I thought I heard something going through the mic. I don't have my headphones on. I'm going to just put it against my ear. Somebody's talking into the mic on their mic. Is he making racing noises like Kale Yarbrough? Okay. So let's look at the map. People are approaching me. Uh, let's see. We did this. We did this. Booga, 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 booga. Did this. Did these. Did this. I think it's this, 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 this back up through here. Okay, so there's only one place left to go, but we're going to do a side tour first. So hold on one second here. So, can you tell I like these wheels? <laughs> there we are. This is I switched back over to Rusty Jack because I remember I, I realized I'd never shown off this puppy. It has a neat little thing. I like this van, this little remote control van. And that's that. I, I don't think I'm going to go through all the other... Like, I forget what cannon I have on my mini tank. They never use that. So we could, I guess we could walk outside and do something with that. If we go here, exit. And then go... What the heck is... Learn there is that if you try to bring in the tank, it blows uh, the program up. Locks the whole computer. 
Yep. Yep, yep, that's the bathroom. Okay, we've done this before. I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to go out and I'm going to go stare at my uh, my remote control car because I don't know how much of that video got corrupted. But, um, so, yeah, so in case I did, you didn't get that rest of that clip, there's my remote control car and we'll, we'll, we'll just move on to the next thing before it just gets more screwed up. All right. Okay, and so that brings us to the yellow submarine. It's kind of a little bit past... Looks a little green here, but it really is just that yellow. It's what the yellow is like to the yellow and orange. Shut up, Lester. How are we even recording? Yeah, we're recording. Okay. Let's hop in here. And Pavel somewhere. He's in the. Let's go this way. Because the whole idea is we're just going to finish up the garage tour. And here, I think, is the last garage. There's my sparrow. I never did really paint it. This It's just the original gray. But, I mean, it's a light gray. But it's not a bad color. So we're leaving it that. It's... it's a utility player. You know, you just got to... This is all extremely accurate looking. I mean, like, I can't tell you how enough I want... That stuff looks real genuine. Now, I will say this. Why is it all in English? Did Pavel go through and relabel all of the equipment in English? This should all be in Russian, shouldn't it? I mean, it's all legit American, unless he had to really refit it with American parts. Just to keep it going. I don't know. If we go through enough, will we find some Russian? Yeah, we got this. That's a complete waste, by the way. It's like totally a waste. Unless if you it, it well I mean it's useful if you didn't buy the other thing I'm gonna show you. This. Isn't that beautiful? You got the gold paint going. I don't even think I put light smoke on so you can see in better. It's you know. It's just ready to go into the water. And zip its way along. Now, check it out. Four-door sub submarine. Four-door submarine. Goes like two miles an hour. Has rockets that work underwater. Why would you ever set foot in this? Maybe you can see better out the windows? I don't know. But that's pretty much it. I think, I think we've covered it. If there's anything I've missed and I want to show off, I'll just show it off in another video. But my goodness, I think this has been probably good enough. Oh, hey, look, we can equip scuba gear here. We could be Scuba Steve. Get ready for the G-Fred. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I've got not much else to say other than this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. I should probably put my glasses back on. You know, style and all that. Where's my style button? Went right past the style button. Summer, dude. It's not summer. It's it's Black Friday on, in November. It's November what? November 26, 2021. And you should have a great night. Even though you're probably going to watch this in July. Or later. Of 22. The whole... It's, I guess the last thing I really should say is let's do the time warp again. It'd be interesting to see if he says anything different now that I'm bypassing his cargo boob. <laughs> Drug induced paranoia. Yay.